All right. Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Character sheet. It's Dungeons & Dragons time. Welcome Woo. back Dun to Dungeons & Dragons Online. Sort of. 2006. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2006. Back in 2006. <laughs> Everyone on Twitch is very, con uh, very confused because I don't understand. Why doesn't YouTube have, I mean, as big as D and D online, not online, not D and D online. D and D online is. Why don't they have an option for it? I guess I, could, I, I can know, make man. this thing an entertainment stream. Maybe, maybe you should. Uh, we're not the most entertaining, so I don't know. I'm gonna look this up. Okay, you do that. D and D online, 2006. So we got, uh, we do have a small update. Did you guys see the new stuff? I haven't. You haven't seen it. Haven't. Stuff. Um, you guys can't see it. I forget. What? Uh, we got like, like a, wow a few knockoff. new things. Let's see. Let's find it. Let's find it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? This is a perfect one for the past month or whatever. Um, Wait, are we on the same? Let me move over here. You guys over? Oh, you guys might not be able to see it. You're not on this map. Nope. Oh, all right. Let's go to where are you at? You're we're at the probably we're on, on the, the um the map. world map. You're on the world. Oh, because your characters aren't here though. Yeah. Uh, here, let's go to where we were. I see a bunch of different kinds of trees laid out. Yeah, I did some adjusting to my on my thing. I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I might go in. So next week we're gonna do a Halloween thing, and I think I might go try to do like a recap Halloween. thing, like a recap video. No promises. <laughs> a recap of the campaign. Wait, so far. Odds, that that is, a recap of the campaign, <laughs> either up to so far or up to uh, day one of the online stuff. Yeah, so. I'm, giving, they, I'm giving heavy odds that that does not. Oh, happen. that would be <laughs> that would be so good. You don't, need a, you don't need it. You don't need it. You were here. You know what happened, and you remember everything. I want to know. I want to re um, remember everything. All right, no problem. I want to re remember. Yes. See that guy? See the frog? No. I don't I'm see nothing. On There's a frog. Yeah. There's a frog. You gotta bring me over there. I don't see oh. anything. Yeah, I don't. I don't. You gotta bring me over yeah, there. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah. Yeah, God. Man, man. terrible. <laughs> Marco. Show me the frog. Where is he? Giant frog. Oh, that's a that that's be... Toticus. Yeah, <laughs> Toticus. Yeah, we can go jump, uh, jumbo sized. I think. Where is he? Oh, he's there right he next is. to us. Holy! Oh, oh, dude, it's a horny toad. He's a big boy. No, horny toads he's are a lizard. Big things. Where'd he go? Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, a horny right. toad is a lizard. He, he's a he's a big boy. <laughs> he's a big old. <laughs> <He's a> big <laughs> big. <laughs> then we've got a we got a fairy. Wait. A fairy. Uh, and oh, we have rock people. a tree. Make the fairy jumbo size. Rock people. Jumbo fairy. Is that? Oh, ah, yeah. There we go. And there's a tree, and then we got the, the biggest of one still small other. <laughs> oh, the tree would be cool. Maybe it was it. One, two, three. No, there's one more. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right. Um, where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's in constructs. Yeah, yeah. There's a magic weapon. Like, see it? A magic weapon. Yeah. So like, Ooh, if you're a player. Like yeah. Um, spiritual like, spiritual weapon. weapon. Yeah, that's the thing. Thanks, Marmelo. Interesting. <laughs> All right, guys, we got my new D&D character. This frog right here. Make the it's treant beautiful. huge. Yeah, how big does the treant get? Well, let's see. Oh. Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> David, you want to be a frog? Yes. Okay. I don't want to be a lizard. Lizards are ugly. You know, you're a, you're a, uh, you're a marlock. What are they called? Marlock. 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 I think that's what they call them in D&D. My locks are super ugly. No one makes my locks. That's... Face is ugly. Oh, <laughs> How dare you disparage my locks? <laughs> okay, so that, that, is that really what you want to be, David? Yes, it's Why is your final choice. Okay. Wow. Um, okay. Let's go. He's going to hop into combat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. He's a frogman. Spaceman. And... Well, he's not a frogman anymore. Ooh. He's just a frog. <laughs> Holy this moly. Is... Look at his picture. I am beautiful. Bert, the old Bert is dead. I know, it's just a giant toad. We have new Bert. New Bert. He's not even a frog, he's a toad. Mm, that's right. Shush, I'm a frog. <laughs> here, let me help you out. Wait, get back up here. Put your... Let me get you. Okay. Let's go up. Boink. And boink. Okay. Wow. All right. Um, so anyway, uh, last week, we should recap uh, the one anyway. You guys are in... As usual, about 50% of the time, this is the correct start of the campaign. You guys are in Saltport. <laughs> you love being in Saltport. Um, you I love it so much. 
you just got off the boat with the uh, with the the young and the old and the uh, the female frog refugees from from Tad Point, and you've brought them home. You're trying to bring them home to um, to Salt Port, and um, while you got in, you took a bit of a nap at Bert's house. This is where Bert is from. And uh, you you spotted the the dark one, also known as Montro, hanging out in town, uh, and and uh, a big fight ensued. It was going to be a very big and exciting fight, but you guys ruined it. I'm still bitter about it. <laughs> and so you locked him down and murdered the poor guy. <laughs> but the poor guy to be a little bigger here. Is it going to be a little bigger? Poor David? guy. The poor, poor guy, guy. killed me in one shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So he was he was very powerful, um, uh, but it didn't seem so. So he's dead. Um, but he was holding captive uh, Bit, who's now the town overseer, and he's holding his wife captive. And so you, uh, with the 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 push of Bit, um, trudged off towards uh, the Dark One's lair, which is a uh, a peculiar looking tree out here in the swamp, uh, to the west of town. Um, we left off here as you guys approach the uh, the big tree. The, there is an a visible door. Um, or Well, you know where the door is, I should say. Because um, you saw it from FIP. Um, mo- uh, moseying about the front of the tree is a very large um, abomination. It's a very large collection of sea creatures and tentacles and starfish. Just sort of mashed together to make one big hulking thing. Um, there's a couple others also that are sort of lingering about. Um, let me get them, and you can see them. They're they're off in the distance, but you can you can see them. So we'll uh, get them going. And actually, you know, let's let's use one of these new guys here. New actually, guys. This will work out all right. Um, uh oh. So you got one that looks um, not like a tree, but like seaweed and and uh, other sea plants bits. Um, is that is that the right size? There we go. Mm, yeah, he's, not, he's not giant. He's a little guy, but he's out. You see a tree moving around or a big plant monster walking around. Um, and the guy, and then you see another one over on the other side just sort of moseying about. Uh, and this one's a little more... Um, again, it's just a bunch of sea creature things. We got a lot of, a lot of tentacles all over this guy. Um, I still only see the big, like... You may not be able to see these guys because they're kind of hiding out in the back. I know where they are because Fifth is telling me. So we'll move this guy. He's up, up, up here. So you've got one um, moseying about out over here. You can see where my beam is pointing down on. Yeah, I see it. And you got one over this way. Oh, the so made. there's three total. Yep, one big guy, two little guys, <clears throat> um, and you also have uh, Leaf is in tow here. Leaf is right here. Uh, David, you're yeah. So- there it goes. So this is the big guy and the other two that are are around are smaller? Yeah. Yeah, they're like your size. Big guy is is huge. Where's my rename button? This is Leaf. And this is Bit. Okay. Um, So what do you want to do? You've not been spotted yet. You are plenty of of, of swampy brush. You guys are in here. And and you are in a swamp, so it's going to be slow moving, half movement as you uh, progress your way through. Uh, Bert and Bit do not uh, have that problem. I think, are you okay with that too, Jack? Uh, I don't think, unless it was a favorite terrain, right? Is that what it is? Okay. Uh, Yeah, it's not. So... We can either try to fight or try to sneak with maybe only one or two of us. Or we can just walk right up to it and hold up our rings and hope he doesn't pulverize us. There's a bunch of bushes being <laughs> fought. It's getting a little bushy around. <laughs> ah, ah, the bushes! <laughs> <laughs> trying to make it a little more swampier. <clears throat> oh, I know how to make it swamp. Oh, where's our music at? Water would help making it swampier, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, that water. Yeah, yeah I know. Exactly um... Right. I need some fog. I am going to cast detect magic. Yeah. Not yeah, dear. Post, uh, um, yeah. To the, uh... <laughs> yeah, I love detect magic. It's a bad. Ooh, that's extra. Looking small. This is oh, like hazy. This is the most evergreen-filled yeah. swamp oh. I've ever been to. I think it should be bluish. 
He's been, been driving their trucks through here. <laughs> uh, here, this looks more swampy, eh? Sure. You know, swamps can just have clear skies. No, they don't. I've been playing Hunt Showdown. That whole game's a swamp. No fog. Actually, just gray <laughs> fog. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, we just went crazy, like with the, went crazy with the Instagram filters today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to cast Detect Magic. Uh, how far, what's the range on that? Uh, <coughs> anything within 30 feet. 30 feet, which is... Which is... Where are you at? Okay. Uh, you're not picking anything up from there. I'm going to look at our rings, because I didn't look at them before. They, they are magical. The, the undead things? Undead ones? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, they is are it magical. like an abjuration? Uh, yeah, I know you'd ask me that. <laughs> um, it's it's a warding. Um, let me see. Um, it is a... Wait for it. <laughs> I'm waiting. Waiting. <laughs> Currently in Abjuration the is the word. Cool. So they are like actual magic rings and not just... Yep. Yep. Okay. And you can see when you look at them closely as you're looking at it, they've got like little glyphs sort of etched in them that are pretty hard to see, but you can notice it since you're wearing it. So do we Magically want to imbued. try to just walk up to it with our rings? Or do we want to try to have... Maybe one or two people sneak in? Or hey, which, two, which two people want to be a distraction? How about we just sneak in? My sneaking is amazing. Okay, we'll go sneak then. Where is Fip? Uh, Fip. Fip is in the air. I, I right will now. let you guys sneak in because uh, I am the loudest person in the world. Yeah, I think that if we're going to try the sneaky thing, probably just send Bert in. Yeah. Maybe with fip on his shoulder so we can keep in contact Sounds we'll get to sneaking then okay I will recall fip so I'll tell Bert there's two more regular sized undead on the other side of the tree so watch out for them fip will be on your shoulder and I'll be looking through his eyes alright this guy's very slowly moseying put it on his head then you'll get first person view <laughs> okay so I'm going to put my hand on Shiro's shoulder. Okay. Go blind, and I am looking through Fip on Bert's shoulder. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. The party is relying on me. Never had don't this happen this before. Up. After don't, twenty, let's don't go. screw this up. Oh. <laughs> um. He's got a high sneak though. Sixteen. Yeah. That's a sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, move yourself where you're going. Yeesh. Also, Bert's the fastest of us out here. Oh, look at this go. Not difficult terrain for him. Where'd you go? I missed him. He's like running in circles through the swamp. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's going spice, so spice, fast. Spice. Where are you? <laughs> are you down below there? Where... How'd you get I went under the map by accident. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go over <laughs> the world. World. How, how about this, David? <laughs> I'll control your character, okay? <laughs> Where are you, no, just sneak just path. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hey, I'm going to dig up from the bottom. <laughs> what if we dig a hole and come up through the bottom of the tree? <laughs> I want you to say there. hi to Jansen. You're going to go trudge by... Um... Jansen Hewitt. Oh, hey, Jansen. You're going to trudge by the uh, the big guy like that? That close? Not that well, close. Well, here, let me, let, me, let me describe what's going on. Give me a quick perception check. What's your passive perception? Well, give me an active one because I know you're out. You're going to be looking. Can I assist with FIP? Um, sure. Because hmm. I'm looking as well and talking to him. Okay. That's a 19 go. on one of them. Uh, I didn't say <laughs> advantage. But... Well, it's what what assisting. So. Oh, okay. That's what I said. Um, okay, so you're chat you're are you chatting? With are you talking with FIP as you sneak through this? No. <laughs> okay. I, I'm whispering to him if you see if, if I see something. Okay, so you're getting some whispers in your ear. He tells a little right. bird joke, um, and you're sneaking by, and <laughs> you and you, <laughs> you look over, <laughs> and you see Fip, a raven. There's a raven on your shoulder. What? As you continue trudging along, he's How not. Does he see? 
He is not His invisible. Perception's not that good. <laughs> Fip's invisible still. You no. The party oh, does not. Oh. The party does not see Fip. <laughs> okay. Bert sees Fip. Oh, only I see Fip. Got it. All right. I thought that was until level fifteen, but all right. Hmm. <laughs> That's how we got blasted last time. <laughs> um. It's an anti magic zone. I go ahead. And, yeah, sneak. The, uh, what else do I do now? I guess. You gonna keep on sneak going again? Yeah. Keep on going. I'm, I'll tell them where the door was. Okay. So in front of you, right. you have. A door. It seemed to be very well camouflaged against the trunk of the tree. But there is a door. Uh, I'll go and open it sneakily. Make it where it's not like my door in my room. Where it makes the loudest creaks ever. Alright, so you walk up. And I need a deck save. As you go and put your hand on the door. And you see this glyph just light up on the door. And you all see this. And then this beam of electricity blasts into Bart. Fip. Deck save. I'm sorry. Deck save. I'm sorry, Fip. I, I'm sorry. probably I'm saved sorry. it. <laughs> I saved it. That was a 20. 20. I was thinking how this, is, how this might go down. And I was like, surely he won't have Fip right there. Poor Fip. Oh, man. Down that 20, Fip. That is not oh. good. <laughs> okay, so what'd you I get, feel... David? Twenty. <laughs> okay, so David, you would take nothing because you're able to evade it. Um, Thirty-one so points of damage blast yeah, into it's... Fip. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, looks like I'm gonna look for some more incense. <laughs> Dang, it does my only you are eye. literally How worthless now. You don't have a bird. Wow. No spells. Why don't we go ahead and roll oh, initiative? Man. As oh, no. the loud crackle, the lightning bolt, by the way, went through FIP and went out another 30 feet. No, 100 feet. Hang on. Hang on. 100 feet. 100 no feet. No one's there. So it just it's this beam of electricity just blasts out from the door. Straight Jeez. line. I'm still at max HP. Oh, yeah? Is that a challenge? <laughs> Someone never destroy me. Five. Uh, what did I get? 17. 13 for me. All right, hang on, I gotta get my people in here. 12 for Bert. This guy really liked lightning. Hey, thanks, he Mark. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's tips today. I appreciate it, too. Right, um, <laughs> what did everybody get again? Now, uh, I got a 5 on Rook. Okay. 10. 17. Uh, 12 for Bert. <clears throat> now we gotta kill everything in this tree and rummage it for incense. <laughs> well, uh, There's no incense Bart in got there. 12? <laughs> Correct. Now we gotta rummage this tree and I'll push you off the top and end your miserable life. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, Jack? 17. Finn? Uh, 10. And... 0. 13. Who wants to be T-Rexes this fight? <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'll turn Rook into a T Rex. All right. Be um, so the lightning bolt goes off. Um, you see Bert just just dive out of the way, almost like Matrix style. You know what the Matrix is, but you think that'd be a good <laughs> movie. That's so, a nice camera spin around him. Yeah, yeah. Um, dives wow. out of the way. This lightning bolt is a blast through, and there's just this beam of light that shoots across the ter the, the terrain. Um, as soon as that happens, all eyes turn to Bert, and big man turns around. Um, big, big, fleshy sea man, and then the other guy in the back starts turning, and everything just sort of starts. They take a moment. They're, at, they're, they're, turned to. They can well, take a moment to turn. Yeah. Jack, you're up. You're not getting surprised or anything. You know what I mean. Surprise uh, is ruined, but combat has. Why not? Who's so Shiro? Wait, who's near me? Uh, your party. Uh, Everyone. Road. Everyone. Leaf is here, and that's bit. Go I turn Leaf into it's... a T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn Leaf into a T-Rex. So Go get him, Leaf. <laughs> um, I'm going to cast Bless on all four of us. Okay. That's it. That's a D4 Where's on my blessing at? attacks and saving throws? Attacks and... Yeah. Okay. Well, you're up by the door, so it's kind of hard to bless you. I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah, if you sneeze, just don't even expect anything. <laughs> okay. Um, Leaf... 
is he's, he starts to take a move forward. But he stops and he looks at Rook and, and Finn and stands next to you guys. And he's just looking to, for you, to you for advice. Okay. Follow My advice lead. is stay back. Shiro, you're up. Um, as far as you know, they don't seem to be aware of you. They're just all on Bert. How many are out here? You said three? three. Yep. One biggie, two smalls. I'm going to use my action to, to move. Okay. Notorious. <laughs> Whoa. And I'll end my turn there. Okay. As you step I'll, out. I'll step yell out. out. I'll yell out. Yeah. Come get me. Yeah. And then I'll kill. Your bonus armor is your armor is yell enough. They are aware. <laughs> Bert, you're I'll, I'll bonus action key awareness. Okay. All right. So I guess now that we're in combat. Um, I'm gonna go fight this big guy over here. You get him. Uh, you gotta move 30. <laughs> Count your squares. <laughs> you just move Every it. time I look at the <laughs> portrait. I know, it, that's, yeah, that's his picture now. <laughs> he got more disappointed between the last one and this one. <laughs> there, there, he's he's like he's about Five, to go. 10, 15, Diabetes. 20, 25. Okay. Diabetes. <laughs> see, alright. Swing. Uh, do I get my one-on-one? -on -one? Yep, you are one on one. So that means I get advantage. Does that work on um? Because he's huge. Does that work on that? Uh, you can go, go ahead yeah. and do it now, but we'll have to look at that. We'll have to should look at that. I think if a creature's two size smaller than you, it's hard. Well, to Well, good hit thing them. I got advantage because so when you're up on this guy, you can see he's got some pretty nasty uh, claws that have been sort of formed out of crab claws and other. Uh, Chitinous? Is that the word? Uh, sea creatures. He also has some big, a big mouth with uh, boy teeth. Already killed this you necromancer. Know? All right, I got twenty-three to hit. Twenty-three is a hit. As you, there we you go. as you hit it in, and it makes some nasty <laughs> noise. No uh, I get my <laughs> <laughs> trying to liven it up for you. <laughs> you need to get yeah. a soundboard. Uh, I, do, I have perk. one. My mouth. Oh. <laughs> Thirteen damage or nineteen damage? Oh, plus what's your plus? Plus five. 25. Like oh, a Foley 24? artist, you can just like keep a bucket with wet rags. It's plus there. five. You're only plus five. <laughs> yeah, for my attack, for my damage, for my damage. I thought we. Hey, listen, if you want to. No, no, it, you just fixed it because your your I hit to... damage. I think the attack is nine. Right, right. You're correct. See, if you want to give me more uh, attack, I'd be glad to take nope, it. Nope, you done. Fine. Um, <laughs> I'll move back uh, 30, and then I'll use my dash to move back another 30. Nope. That's not how, oh, you're going to dash back. Oh, good call. Good call, David. Wow. Run away. <laughs> that was like wow. 90 feet, man. <laughs> Whoa. No, it wasn't. I counted. Each child is five. There's 30 right there. 30, and plus yeah. my dash. No, I mean, your, your dash, dash is... You, you already moved 25 feet. So you can go 35. So you, can, you can go 35. You can go to this square here. I guess I, oh, okay. Nice try, <laughs> cheater. All right, Finn, you're up. All right, I'm going to... Uh... This is why you can't uh, roll your own dice, David. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Roll d d20. I got a 30. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move back. Oh, Lord. Move over to here. And I'm going to... Can I pull Leaf with me or just tell him to come with me? Can I pull him with me? Um, yeah. You can... You right. can he'll tag along with you as you... I'm going to get him to move her. Okay. I'm going to get him to come over here with me. Okay. And then I am going to twin the spell Polymorph. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, he's going oh, to do it for real. <laughs> so it will hit Shiro... And Rook. Okay. And what do you T Rex's to... baby. You? <laughs> okay. I need from you. You can use the T Rex okay. stats, but I need okay. a thing that you've seen that it can be. A thing that I've seen? Yeah. Uh, let's see. It can be something from your previous, uh, before campaign time. If you want to make something that would fit. But there's no T Rexes running around. No T Rex is running yeah. around. All but right, for um, the flavor of the campaign, give me something that's. 
I'm trying to think of some. Oh, I could turn them into giant scorpions, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Scorpions. There is a giant Those... scorpion thing, but that's fine. You yeah. can use the T-Rex stat still if you want. Yeah, the huge giant scorpion that we Huge, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let me find you. Is there anything that would work? I guess there's spiders, right? I could turn it into a giant spider too, right? Yeah. Yeah, like the like big mama spider over there. If there's a spider, mama we'll spider. use a spider. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. But my tail ability. This <laughs> is. <laughs> How big is it going to be? Re- uh, a T Rex yeah, is. I have T Rex pulled up. It's large. T Rex. A T Rex is huge. Is huge after large or is huge after giant? Which one? Huge after large. Four by four. Large, um, huge, gargantuan. I think is what it is, right? Large. Yeah. Okay, so three by three. Oh, knock the dice around. Neat. Okay, so I'm gonna get Shiro out of there. Give this guy uh, Shiro control. A huge creature is 15 foot by 15 foot. Okay. 15. All right, so I have 136 HP, and my AC <laughs> went up. Woo! <laughs> What's the AC on him? 13. 13. I can send you um, a link to the stats if you want. Yeah, 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 Okay, and you're going to be going. Oh, yeah. Oop, oop. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Oh, he ran off. Okay, so two massive spiders just appear wow. in the, uh, in in front of you. You see uh, Jack standing right there, and, and Rook just begins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah describe that. This cr- I'm sorry, I'm sidetracked. There's uh, Joe got some hair. Got some hair. <laughs> uh, you see his uh, his arms start to start to uh, extend, and um, sorry, I don't have a, a noise for this one, but you see a giant spider <laughs> starts to morph and, and take over the space, and not only one, but there's two of them. Hot okay. dang! Anything else, Finn? No, that's pretty much. I mean, okay. Well, I'm gonna okay. step down off this ledge right here. Okay. Wish you would step down off that ledge, my friend. But I'm going to do it with non-copyrighted music. Okay, that's very pretty. All right, so big uh, big man um, is going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, 25. He's right up up on this giant spider. And he's going to go in with two big claw (laughs) attacks on Spider-Man. Put the ring on your spider foot. (laughs) So here's his two... Oh, is he gargantuan? Spider swings. Uh, he is. Ooh. And... Ooh. Probably hit. Um, yeah, I probably did 14 and eight and 15. Yep. Okay. It's mostly uh, just for the health. <laughs> They're easy to hit. <laughs> Harder to hit than I am. <laughs> so you take in 21 damage with the first claw. And 26 damage with the second claw. Ooh. And nope, nope. Sorry, ignore that. Ignore that. I did the wrong. I did the wrong one. Uh, it's 2d8. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm new to this. <laughs> Never played D&D <laughs> first game. Of 14 damage for the first one, and 18 for the second one. And then we'll bite you. I roll. It didn't actually roll though. I'll roll it. There's another hit, and now we get to do the big dice. Would I still have my key awareness up, or does that go away when I transform? <laughs> that probably goes away. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Key awareness. I but think yeah, it would not, go away. I think yeah. so. Like your plus. key awareness is like because you're like totally aware of your own body and stuff, but your body has changed. So 24 damage on the bite. Ow. Good thing you have a lot of hit points. Okay. True. Tree Man is going to make his way over this way. Um, let's see. How do we do this? Um, how is, um, never mind. Ready. Just have it. I don't is think it the Shift that you hold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shift. 5, 10, 15, 20. 10, 15, 20. He's going to march down to right about there. Okay. And then um, the uh, this guy is like this is the the least humanoid one you've seen the the one that looks like a kraken back here. He's very I don't know Lovecraftian if you want to think of it that way. Right. I, can't even see very, him, so. I think he moves. Oh, oh. I've 
There we go. 20, 20. Okay. And see, he's he doesn't have like legs. He's just sort of like using his tentacles and sort of just rolling towards you. Uh, and you can see some it's sort of like, rolling. Yeah, some sort of like sticky substance is kind of coming out of him as well. And this, with his tentacles, he's a uh, he's a freaky guy. Rook, you're up. I'm gonna go skitter skitter. <laughs> I'm gonna run over here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to tell. Get off the Whoa. tree. Okay, so I can get. What is it? Shift. Shift like shift. leaves you in one spot, and so you have like a ghost one, so you can kind of see. Uh, go. Oh, control Throw goes up. Hold control to go up. Uh, okay, I'll just drag it. So that's five, ten, fifteen. <laughs> What's the move 20, speed of this thing? Fifty. Fifty feet. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. Forty. You just want to flank him, is what you're trying to do. I'm trying. Rook's having a hard time with 45. his new spider body. It's <laughs> difficult. It's a new body. There. <laughs> 50 feet. Great. Okay. I am going to uh, bite him. And then guess what I'm going to do. <laughs> do you well, not have not gonna to hit him with difficult tip? terrain? I don't know. Do I? I'm, an, I'm enormous. Um... Is know. there difficult terrain around there? Yeah, you guys are are swampy. Um, yeah, it's fine. We'll just just ignore it because I was ignoring it too. So <laughs> let's ignore it. Okay, so there you go. First, David, first uh, bite David attack. Uh, so twenty four. That's a hit. Four d twelve plus seven. Oof. Well, that one's gonna be rolling for a minute. <laughs> oh. oh. 32, so 39 points of piercing damage. Okay. And then I'm going to swipe it with my tail that I don't know. Not tail. You're going to hit it with your mandibles. <laughs> my mandibles. With my, I'm going to slap it. <laughs> yeah, slap it with your spider feet. This is your spider legs. Did you say 4d12 on the, if it hits? Yeah, it's yep. 4d12 plus 7 with a plus Jeepers 10 to hit. Creepers. And then that's another 24. And then this is 3d8 uh, plus 7. 20 more uh, bludgeoning damage. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and... Oh, um... Sorry, you can change this if you want. Oh, wait. Take that last one back. How much was it? Because I cannot make both attacks against the same target. Um, 20? But there's nothing else in range, so I'll just I'll chill there. Was that 20? <laughs> It has I a guess, ten foot 20. reach, so if there's anything in range of you. Yeah, I can't see so, where the other dude is. As you as you uh bite down on him, he turns around and gets a free hit on you. Okay. Oh. Where, where's the other guy? I can't see him. The tree ain't looking. Uh, he's, he's right behind about you. He's 15 not within ten feet. feet. Oh I see him. Behind you. He's more than more than ten feet away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh six plus fourteen. Fourteen hits. Man, you're in rough shape. I'm the one who was taking the hits, brother. I know, I'm just saying, since he has even Seven less damage. than he's seen As his claw comes around and... Uh, let's say he's got, like, spikes all over him. So as you're, I'm in as fine you're, shape. I'm... As you're hitting him, the spikes are jabbing you back. I am I am the healthiest I have ever been. <laughs> Jack! <laughs> even still, after being hit. Um, you're <laughs> okay, so... My character's confused. <laughs> I just... I just saw Shiro. You would have seen and Rook. cast a spell. Would I have seen you cast a spell? Uh, I mean, I if you you're pretty far away, but they're obviously I'm, helping I'm, you. I'm just gonna assume it's the for the best. So I'm just... <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess these giant Someone... uh, spiders are on our side. It looks <laughs> yeah, it's like I, it's like I think this is part of the plan. Well, you uh, saw two of your teammates went into him. Yeah. You'll be good. It's if everything's fine. This is okay. okay. This is fine. Um, I think of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go. I'm gonna. That one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast as a bonus action. I'm gonna cast <coughs> Hunter's Mark on the one that the spiders are attacking. Okay. And then I'm gonna try and sharpshoot it. So, Dang. so, 
Nope. I'm going to try again. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add my d4. It didn't matter. I oh, know, I kept that in mind. I just, you rolled good, so. Mm, okay, never mind. I'm just going to stare. I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> Those spiders. Shoot arrows. Pew. Utterly I'm, stunned. <laughs> why do we, yeah, why do we just, get a d4? He blessed us. Bless. Oh, okay. Done, yeah. Shira, uh, Jack? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so uh, Leaf is just sort of standing there in awe. Um, just mouth agape. Like, not sure <laughs> what's going on. He's looking back at Finn, looking at the spiders, looking back at Finn, and just trying to figure out what's going on. Um, Shiro, you're up. Confusion tactic. <laughs> I'm going Confusion. to attack the big boy. You have advantage, because you're flanking. Yeah, you can't hit it with both attacks. With the bite. Uh, plus seven, uh, plus 25. 10. Plus, plus 10, 10 to hit. hit. Oh, 28. To hit? Yep. And 40 total plus 7. Uh, 40 damage. Woo. Okay. Take a big bite out of this, uh, this fleshy thing. And pieces, again, are just like coming off of the guy. And he's... He's just sort of held together by lots of little bits. So as you bite him, he's like a he's oh, he's like a Lego monster. And you you bash him, little pieces come off of him. There's just a hole there, but he's still working. Lego the thing. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, that should end it. I'll end it yep. right there. Bert, you're up. You can see there is a uh, oh, a weird one coming in from okay, behind you. Know what? You guys got spikes on your butt. That's what your tail attack is. <laughs> the old I don't see spike. anything behind me still, so I'm just gonna take. Yeah, I know, Finley. I, I don't know where the cat is. Probably outside. Outside? Oh. Do you have a Do you have a cat flap? He's tiny. No. Well, anyways, yeah. I'm just gonna attack the big guy, because size means everything. Go get him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bert. says the smallest right. guy in the party. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, time to stab him. Uh, you won't uh, be there. You won't be in his, in his square. There you go. All right, whatever. Uh, do I get my sneak attack still? Uh, yeah, you. There's two people engaged with him, so yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, no, <laughs> d no advantage, I'd assume, right? Um. Uh, nope, you're not flanked. Uh, yeah, right. Alright, that was lots of hit anyways, so. Don't have to hit. Roll that damage. Uh, plus five. 28 damage. Okay. Now that I'm gonna back up. You dashing? Dash back. Uh, sure. If you don't want to dash, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll dash. Okay, Finn, you're yeah, up. He's out. All right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna tell Leaf to back up a little bit. Back up next a bit, and then I'm gonna move. Uh, let's see where am I gonna move? Ten feet away from him, at least. Then away from me, eh. from... Leaf. Okay. And I'm going to light up. And then we're going to shoot a Scorching Ray, baby. Ooh. I know, I haven't used that one in a while. Uh, let's see, one at the big guy. How far back are these other two guys? I can see the, the tree, guy, tree guy back there. You got one at 75 feet. And the other one is 100 feet. Okay, one at each of them. All three of them. Yeah, one, one of the, one at each. So I'm gonna Ooh. roll the hit. Okay. So here's the big guy, which is a miss. <laughs> yeah, probably miss. Be, uh, Couldn't hit the broad unless, side of a guard. Unless his AC monster. is real low, <laughs> a thirteen. Nope. Okay. Uh, one in the back. Uh, the tree or the um, other guy. The tree. Ooh, there you go. That'll hit. Yep. That's a hit. Oh! 16. Okay. And then on the weird squid monster. 
19? Uh, 19 is a hit. Reroll that one. Are you serious? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you after rerolling two ones. 15. Nice. 15 damage. Yep. Okay. And that's it for me. All right. Golem time. He is going to just keep on smacking the one he was smacking before, which is Shiro. He's going to claw you a couple times. Owie. With his meaty crab claws and whatever else he's got. Um, with a 12 and uh, a hit. One misses. 12 misses, right? Yeah, 12 misses. Claws are 2d8. It's 19 damage on that claw that hit you. <coughs> and then he's going to go in for the bite. With a 15. That hits. Um, for 19 damage. Ouch. Dang, burn through your health pretty quick. Okay, Tree Man. To be fair, if up. Was <laughs> my normal self, he wouldn't have hit me once yet. Right there, and look. <laughs> I got a flank without even trying. You guys aren't smart enough to flank, but he's got it because he just walks straight. <laughs> look at and... his nice little line. I know. <laughs> he's like a lightning bolt to go through all of it. He's got <laughs> his, his big, meaty seaweed arms, and he's going to slam them both into you. Oh, no. Spider Man. Oh, advantage, right? So this is going to be a 10 plus. There's a hit. And a 17, which is a hit, right? Yep. Okay, so first one hits you for 10 damage, 10 bludgeoning damage, and then you get 17 more bludgeoning from Plant Man. And then we've got... How much? How much more? Seventeen more. I think that's what I said. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what yeah. You said. Okay. So five, ten, fifteen. Let's do something crazy here. So he's gonna go fifteen and twenty. He's gonna he's gonna stick to the side of this tree. Ooh, actually he's stuck. So he like climbs up the tree and he's stuck on the side of the tree. And let's see here. Oh yeah. So Frogman. He opens his mouth. You assume it's a mouth, oh, and this no. this web-like sticky tongue thing shoots out, and I Tasty. need a. Where is it? Hang on. Uh... It's a dexterity check. I can already tell. And Bert shoots his tongue back. So it slams Counting into it. you. Make yeah, me a. It. Is it automatic? Hang on. Oh. Yeah, so it it's this sticky, nasty. Um, is it a, is an attack roll? Like a lizard tongue thing. There's no attack roll. It just it just happens. Once nice. I got like an action, so you, it shoots out and it sticks into you, uh, Bert. Um, into or onto? Those like are two different grabbed, things. Am I like grappled or am I? Just... It sticks onto you. You are grappled. Oh. Um. When you get grappled, you have to make a strength check to get out of it. Is that right? Strength or dex, yeah. Oh, all right then. So it's not that bad. He's gonna be like, "All right, make a DC forty dex check." <laughs> <clears throat> You're like, Dang it. Okay, so yeah, you are grappled. Um. Oh no, here it is. Here it is. Okay, here it is. I found it. Make me a strength save. Okay. Sorry. Oh, Ignore, all that. Here, Ignore here all that. Here we go. As a strength save, it can't be a dex. Like that's an OP creature. I've never seen this before. <laughs> You're just grappled. He showed up and you were grappled. That's <laughs> twenty. That's twenty. No, uh, that's a six. Okay, so this sticky tongue comes out and sticks all over Frogman. Frogman, you are yanked um, all the way over here and thrown Why? into the square right below him. Ooh. Wow. You're oh actually, boy, that's kind of yeah, neat. Up there, so he just he just it's a it's like those guys from Left 4 Dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I can't wait. I forget that. what they're called. You're actually up like on this tree here with him. Um. All right. Smoker. Okay. Is it smoker? I, I think it smoker. is. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure it's a smoker. Yeah. Smoker. And then you're like 
tongued over to him. He's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, so you're still oh, all wrapped like around. Story. You're wrapped around his tongue. And as part of a bonus, he gets to attack you with his claw. So he's going to. All right, I'm gonna use my claw you dodge. with a. Oh no, you aren't with a twenty. <laughs> no, you aren't. What? <laughs> Why can't I use my yeah, king dodge? They just you just negate one attack. Is that how it works? I think it takes half damage from a, uh, yeah from one source of damage. I don't like this. This thing's dumb. Okay, and you take sixteen. Oh. So take eight damage as his as his little tentacle claw slices into you. This is like the first time you've been hit in a long time. That's it. I quit. <laughs> no. no more. <laughs> All right, Ruck. No, that's not that I quit. It's just this thing should be taken out of the campaign. Uh, I'm going to I'll do it then. That's your chance. I'm going to bite the big feller. Okay. To find my... Nope, that's not what I wanted. Ignore that. I'm trying to find my two... There they are. Uh, was this 26? That's a hit. Ooh. 41 damage. Uh, piercing damage. As soon as you, um, attack him, he gets another free swing at you at a 16. 16 hits. With his two claws. And you take, ah, four, uh, eight damage. Eight damage. Okay. Then I will use the tail attack against the guy behind me. Okay. Stab him with your butt. 28. That's a hit. And then that is 17 damage. Okay. You get pieces and I'm of... going to shift over here to. I'm still going to remain in uh, melee with the big guy, but I'm going to get a little closer to Bert. Uh, you're leaving Tree Man. I, I know. Okay. Tree Man's going to swing. Okay. That a hit. For How could you take away uh, my advantage hits. like that? Because you can shift over now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're ruining 12 me. damage. <laughs> That's Plant Man. Hits you. Uh, okay. Every time he hits you, you know those little... Uh, those little Squirt things that uh, that seaweed have. Let me hear those little things squirt all over. <laughs> a squirt wow. thing that seaweed. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they would walk on the beach and they have those little those little pods. And you squeeze them <sighs> and the water shoots out. Uh, nope. I've all only right. been to one beach. You land lover. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jack. It's like you live in a uh, locked state. <laughs> I'm yeah. just gonna try. I'm gonna try sharpshooter again. Okay, try it again. Okay. That's a long roll. <laughs> it was oh like, oh it was like, good, good, good. Yeah. Nah. Good what is your plus with, uh, with sharpshooter? Plus four. Francisco so looks, that's looks what the, forward that's what the every time. He that, just, that's he just 10, can't right? wait it's... to get those dice rolls in. <laughs> I'm going to get one. Don't All right, give up. Do it again. Second attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, you need to roll these, your real dice. These, these spider, these spiders, they. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, he's he's constantly looking to the so side. He's not sure. I'm just, yeah, I'm I had a right phobia to one way. of your uh, one of your fears at some point. Yeah. Okay. Um, Leaf is. Um, oh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna try and uh, clean up the area. He's gonna uh, cast prestidigitation. He's in it. <laughs> he's, he's in a backup. He sees you light up on fire. Yeah. Right. He's in a backup. Speak of the devil. And he is going to um start casting, working on a spell. He's going to move oh, his hands no. around, and he's starting to mutter some words. And it's oh, it sounds. Oh, mm, no. you can't. We can't quite make it out. Shiro, you're up. If you want to spend your action trying to listen in you can but i am going to scoot around here and get to where i can flank and then i will take my attacks i attack uh 24 uh, yeah that's a hit oh yes Less. Uh, this is like 
flanking Hulks versus Thanatos. <laughs> just slowly going around hitting him. Uh, 32 damage on the bite. Okay. As you put that last one in, right right through his stomach, and the whole midsection just goes flying about across the battlefield, and he topples over. He, he does a, a twist. Yep. He does a <laughs> and twist down and goes Big Man. Wow. And am I in range to use the tail on the other dude? Um, no, it's not even in the left. I'll away. move a little bit. I'll get over there and then tail attack him. Okay. Uh, 23 to hit. Oh, yep, that's a hit. What's it? 3d8. It's uh, 3d8 plus 7. Plus 7. That was cocked. I forgot we're on. Uh, change my, my my mode over to combat mode so we can see more tailspire. Oops. Is there music playing? No. Okay. Let's say I can't remember if I turn it off because it's Sunday. Or twenty-two on the tail attack. Can you hear that one? Yep. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Uh, twenty-two on an attack is a hit. That was the damage. Oh, 22 is damage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else? Uh, nope. Bart, you're up. Bart, you are all tangled up in this uh, in this uh, web-like tongue that he has. Um, I, uh, you can do whatever All right, you well, since this mortal dare to challenge me, I'm going to go oh. ahead and, oh, my man. and try to <laughs> escape out of it with my decks. Okay. I don't think it is a mortal. I think it's... Uh... A crazy monster up in a tree. All right, well, I may get out. <laughs> you think so, huh? I do. Natural 18. Not sure. Um, what is it? Roll me uh, uh, again. You have disadvantage on it. Oh, it's disadvantage? Rough. Yep. This guy's pretty cool. Oh. All right. All right. Well, uh, yep. you, uh, you score him out of it. Score All right. Down. That is your and action. Is mortal dare to challenge me. As I'm going you, to that's your action, it. by the way. Oh, for all right. Then. <laughs> and you, <laughs> you're like, come on. I dare to challenge you. I'm gonna run away. <laughs> you were like on the side of the tree, so you squirm out and you land on the ground there. All right. Uh, oh, this song again. I'm, just, I'm so tired. I, would, I was in. I keep meaning to look to look and see if I can add song to this. Probably just play some songs over the stream. <laughs> yeah. Find some royalty-free songs. They could like at least more longer than thirty seconds for each song. <laughs> There's only a few songs that are actually real songs. good. They're good. good. Job, they're good for the first thirty seconds. I know. And then you get to hear them again. And then it's like, oh. And again. <laughs> <laughs> and again. Listen, I listen to all my favorite songs on repeat. <laughs> what you doing, Bart? I'm gonna back up. Okay. That's because I'm a coward. Plus, I had no action left, so. I guess. Yeah. Okay, you're good. No, this is the Dune one. All right, done? Yeah, I'm done. Finn, you're up. I'm going to take a couple steps up. I'm going to do me another Scorching Ray. Oops. One at the tree guy, which I'll go ahead and do. Which is a hit. Boom. Oh. Nice. Man, you guys are rolling great, except for Francisco. <laughs> Poor what was Francisco. that? I'm, I'm having a rough time, okay? <laughs> it's because that door what behind you is just... open. Throwing you off. <laughs> That's what it is. The breeze. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> There's a breeze. Sure. Um, 13 damage on him. And I'm going to shoot the other two at... The guy in tree? Yep. 18... Uh, 18 is a hit. 19, so... 19 is a hit. We'll go... 14 and... 12. Okay. You hear some very squishy sounds as it slams into um, that guy. Yeah. Something like calamari, calamari sizzling sounds? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Now that I'm done. Trance is going to take a step forward on Spider-Man. 
Uh, does he need to actually? <laughs> okay, he does. Spider bite. And he's going to bite. Or, uh, he's going to swing his seaweed arms at you. Um, with a... Uh, yeah, they're both going to hit you. Sounds like the fight scene in the last season of Game of Thrones. <laughs> so super lame. 28 damage total. Both of those arms come in and slam you. And I'm then... still a, a T-Rex. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> <laughs> spider T-Rex. And Giant the guy spider, in the tree. <laughs> um, hang on a second. Look me, giant sea monster. <laughs> I would love to. Oh, he's going to go for the frog man again. <laughs> I mean, would you really want to lick something that was on fire anyway? <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's that's on uh, David, make me a strength save. Um, strength saving throw. Natural 19. Uh, with disadvantage, right? Dang. Just managed to get out of it. it. Oh. Well, like I just got a 12, so. 12 plus what's your strength? Zero. Okay. So this sticky tongue comes flying out and slams into your back and draws you back in. <laughs> Unbelievable. This man's a jerk. I don't like him. What's wow. the range on that thing? I just hand. called him a mirror. This is just you, your, you? your karma for meeting all them. All right, where'd you go? Oh, away yeah. from you guys, because you guys are mean. Where'd your character go? <laughs> away from y'all. We lost it. He doesn't want to be with you guys. Uh, Bert? How do I get you down? I'm trying to help you out. I keep shooting you. I don't know how to get Bert he's down. Is he, he's trying, he's trying to he stay is. away from he the, the, from the he's on top of that stand. Or from the mean old Kraken thing. Yeah, I shot it. Okay. So shot he, it three times now. Draws you in. Same thing. He brings you right up, up next to him. And he's going to... Actually, he's going to bring you to right here. And he's he wants going to. Play with to um, this reminds me actually, about the skeleton game that I we played. I don't think he's smart enough for that. So he's going to bring you in. And he's going to claw you again with a claw attack. Off the mountain. Uh, 13. Nope. All right. So he goes to swing at uh -huh. you. <laughs> he's no T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, that was me, Rook. You're up. All right. Actually, no. I, wait. Whoa, one second. He's going to scurry oh. over to the side of this tree over here. Okay, now you're up, Rook. Is there an app that, like, scales monsters up? So as in their stats? Uh, yeah, 5e.tools. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So I could, like, actually scale a big spider up to, like, challenge rating 5 or whatever? Or whatever the tier Eight, is? Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to watch it. This is one I've been using. I was talking about earlier. That it's, oh, okay, yeah. it's usually pretty good. Sometimes it's a little... A little wonky? If you take, like, a, like a, a 1 8th challenge rating thing and crank it up to like 15 and it's gonna do some weird things but okay um just adding a few levels does good 40, that's what i've been doing 45 challenge eight Ugh. let's see what a giant spider would be like 50 can i squeeze in there it's not letting me oh because of the tree in there yeah if not I'll, i mean i can just stay right here if i can reach him yeah you can get on the tree you can climb that okay. right you have so climbed. i'll be like hanging Speed. out near the tree there and i'm going to bite that guy in the tree yeah, let me give you a fly so you can go up a little bit. There you go. Oh, I just Oof. can't. I can't squeeze in there. <laughs> okay, bite him. All right, here comes the bite. Bite, bite. That's a bite. Ooh, Twenty-six. Uh, okay. So, it, it, what size is this guy? Is he medium or smaller? He's medium. Okay, so he. Well, first off, we'll take. Oops. Uh, 26 points of... Oh, that was a really crappy roll. 26 points of piercing damage, and then he needs to make a... What is this? I guess it's a strength save. A strength save? Yeah. So it's a, it's a 10. He is grappled and restrained in my mouth. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. So now attack on him will have advantage. Here goes Jack. You got advantage. Okay. Um. This is your chance. <laughs> to miss this again. This is your yeah. chance. Um, if you had. 
one shot. <laughs> Wait, so so do I see that? <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> do I see the guy in the tree? So you have advantage, but you also have disadvantage because he's on the other side of the tree. So is that how it works? Oh, so it's just a regular cover attack? Is, cover minus two. Wait, it just adds to his AC. Never mind. It adds to his AC. But if he's out of range, then it would be disadvantage. I don't know what his range is. That's true. Okay, well, I'm, I'm just going to I'm gonna go for the trend. Or trend. unless I... Wait. So he's, uh, yeah, he's 100 feet away from you. The Trent Ikathon? Yeah. And I'm going to sharpshooter him. <laughs> Dude, don't give up, you know. Just keep doing it. Double down. Uh-oh. Okay, uh -oh. 17. 17 against Tree Man? Yes. Oh, yeah, it slams in the tree, man. Oh! Finally. Okay. It's like, I just needed a wooden target. That's... <laughs> he, has, he has taken damage. He has. He has. Oh, also, I, I moved my hunter's mark on him. Because once the, the, the one with the one dies... Only because you're doing you get... so terrible tonight. I'll let it slide. <laughs> I'll give you a pity, okay? Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so... Plus... So that plus. I'm gonna have to play with that later. <coughs> get uh, twenty-seven. Okay. <coughs> that that, uh, that that plant man is is in a very small pieces now. Lots of pieces have been blown off of him. I'll shoot him again with a sh sharp shooter. Okay. It, you didn't. I think moving your hunter's mark is a bonus action, isn't it? You uh, yeah, it yeah, yeah. It, it's a bonus action. I don't know if your second attack was a, just part of your first attack or if it was a bonus action. Yeah, level 5, he gets extra attack, so it's just part of his action. Cool. And then, uh, the second attack was 15. 15, 15 is a hit. Oh, okay. look at this. He's redeeming himself. <laughs> I know. It's a miracle. All right. Uh, wait, is hunt wait uh, is Hunter's Mark just Yeah, you get, you, you get every time you hit, it goes off. So you get your D6 oh. and a D8. Okay. Because so I know I'm good. Uh, so that's 15. Okay. He is teetering. Wait, uh... Actually, that's 20. Sorry. Okay, you just teased me now. So the last, <laughs> that final shot goes in there, and he, he, he stands strong like, he's, like he takes it, and he slowly topples over to the, to the side. Who just died? A little shrink? Tree man. And after that, like a Lego man, he turns into a million pieces. Yep. Like a Lego man into a million pieces. Okay, Jack, anything else? Like nope. the enemies in Tron, dude. Okay. Leaf is working on a spell. Oh, gosh. And he's going to... He's looking at that guy that's on the tree. He's going to try to cast something. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, so Leaf goes to cast... He starts to work his thing, and... You start to see some flames start to appear in his fingers. Yeah. And he just erupts, and this burst of fire blasts out from him in all directions. Um, so, <laughs> okay. Somebody roll me a d20 for um, Bits save. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, I a bit guy. Oh, 20. Okay. So, a bit. Um... Oh, damn. Just Never vigilant. Um, so, um, um, <laughs> Leaf. I rolled 20. So he's just like, no problem. I'll work on it again. And he <laughs> looks over and, and, and Bit dodges, dodges out of the way and he takes a little bit of a, a singe, but he's he's okay. You see, I've taught Bit a uh, thing or two about acrobatics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By calling him names? On the way here, you're like, listen, you're not a piece of crap. Here's how to do a back. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Wow. All right, Shiro, you're up. Oh, man. How big was that explosion? Uh, 10 feet. Oh, okay. It was the beginnings of. It's almost like he was. Now that you were, uh, what's your passive perception? Uh, not very high. What's uh, ten plus wisdom? Yeah. And that what passive is? Eleven. Okay. Um. Yeah, you can't quite make out what he was trying to do. Some kind of fire spell. I'll use uh, my action to double move and I'll get on over on this guy. Okay. Bert, you're up. You're tied up. You got. Uh, so I thought he got grappled. He, well, he is grappled, but his tongue it's, is still I, all I grappled over the you. Grappler. 
All right. Uh, I'll just Grapple take a section. dexterity save, I guess. It, wait, this is... Okay. You, Disadvantage? You you. Yep. Disadvantage. <laughs> it's not a that one, please. Ooh. Uh, a five. So that's ten. Okay. You, you just can't... You can't get out of this. There's a... Uh, um, sea slime all over you. Can I make an attack while I'm grappled, or is it like I'm like paralyzed? It's an interaction, so you could you could attack, you could attack the tongue, you could attack the thing, but you chose to uh, get out. Well, I guess it's too late now. Finn, you're I'm up. gonna move up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ten. Oh wait, this is difficult terrain, isn't it? Uh, no, don't worry about it. We okay. I wasn't doing it. It's okay. We'll just say the map is twice the size. <laughs> or it's huge. Can I even, Half can size. I even see that thing yet? I'm going to move up again. Uh, where are you? I'm uh, right here. Oh, yeah. I can't do anything now because I had to double move to get there. Hmm. Okay, you done? Yep. Okay, so see uh, this guy is... He is grappled, which gives me disadvantage on attacks, correct? Uh, restrained does, yes. What's grapple do? Uh, makes your speed zero. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so he is going to... He's got Bert in his, in his tongue. He's going to start clawing at Bert. And we'll a couple attacks on Bert. Uh, the five's not going to hit, but the 15 will hit you 22. Was those... Ouch. Does he have an advantage normally? No. Well, we should be ruling it. Oh, I am restrained? Restrained? Yeah, you were oh. grappled and restrained. Oh, I thought I was grappled. Okay, um, so a miss, and the second attack, second claw, is a miss as well. Aha! Yes! I'm still at a 77. Um, ah. Take that. Can no, I... I um, yeah, I'm just going to stay there. Rook, because oh, I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bite down harder, and I have advantage now because he is restrained. Oh, no. 28. 28 to hit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, so you got him in your teeth, and you just bite down, and you can everyone can see just these juices coming down your spider chin. And you're tasting it. And he's squirming <laughs> around, his tentacles <laughs> flapping around, and it just slowly dies down. He's just, yeah. It's very, um... Clean freak like, rook. It's like seawater. <laughs> oh, sweet. I'm free. And he... He squiggles a little bit, and he dies. <coughs> there you go. I He's dead. Bro. Is there anything else to bite? Um, really you don't see anything bad. in the vicinity. He's feeling more powerful than he's ever felt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's time to go inside and save this man's wife. I guess uh, so. That or... comment you made, Eric, Tailspire is system agnostic. Yeah. It, my bot flagged it. Oh, had, did it? I had to allow it, yeah. Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think the bot would get that. Yeah. Probably, probably because of agnostic. I guess. <clears throat> that or it just really doesn't like Telspire. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right. Um, what you guys going to do? You are out of combat. You Am have... I still a, a giant spider? Hey, how long is he spider for? Yeah, I'm looking uh, at the spider. Make them not spiders. I think it, it doesn't last that long. Ten minutes or something oh, like that. Oh, it's concentration? Is it, is it polymorph? I think yeah, polymorph is an hour. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I got. I can pull it up. Polymorph, where are you at? Yep, polymorph. Up to an hour. Wow. <laughs> you guys want a, uh, a pee break intermission? Oh, yeah, sure. I sure do. I fill, sure. Fill up my water bottle. More okay. snacks. We'll be right back. All right. for it because I, <laughs> I i made the smart move of going to best buy the last time i bought a headset and i spent 200 dollars on it and i was like i want that replacement plan and after like a year and a half i was like time to go get a new one took it in <laughs> grabbed another one by the way we're live <laughs> i know i'm a good person <laughs> dude headsets i i i got a new headset I was judging the conversation year. i was like ah he's it's fine and it took a turn <laughs> i got a new headset
it to every year for like three years, and I was like, I'm sick of this crap. I'm gonna buy that replacement plan Best Buy offers. Right. One headset for like five years, and then I had to do that. Welcome back. Um, you guys are at the um, the tree of the Necromancer, which was yep. his base at some point. Um, you've killed the the guards. And what would you like to do? Well, first oh. I handed out a headset buying tip, and now I'm going to go into the tree. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to the tree since I'm still a giant spider. Okay. And look around, make sure no one's like right behind me. I'm going to tap the door with my spider foot. Okay, roll me I, a I, deck why save. Would you do, why would you do that while I'm this close? See, if it's, I said make sure no one else is there. <laughs> Joey, quickly moves <laughs> away. Said it out loud. I'm move away. <laughs> I'm moving away. Okay. Real far yeah, away. Roll me a deck save. It's still active, guys. <laughs> uh, T-Rex deck save is going to be 10. <laughs> oh, that's the worst roll ever. <laughs> I don't yeah, see wow. So you get like oh, a little man. shock into your finger. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> 19 damage as a lightning bolt blasts out from the door and goes uh, all the way out to the edge. All the way out here. Okay, I'm still a spider. <laughs> By a lot. You saw, uh, you saw a big rune on the, on the door glow for a minute. Uh, and then a bolt came out of it. You want to just knock the door down? You should have obscene strength. Uh... So, I will try. I'll try to. I'll try to punch the door in. Let's see if I get zapped again. <laughs> roll me. Let me get the. Uh, Just roll me. Watching a, um, this, like, what is going on? Strength first. Uh, whoops! Ignore this. Let's try to, there it is. Okay, strength. Ooh. Uh, Actually, make, just make an attack. Make an attack outside five feet. Okay. Well, then twenty nine. Okay. <laughs> uh, roll me damage. Biting the door, I guess. Uh, 28 plus 7 is 35. Okay, so... I guess that's enough. I don't really have... Let's see... I think it's enough. Um, so you, you bash the door in, off the hinges, goes flying in there uh, with your teeth. Um, <laughs> uh, lightning bolt goes off again, though, as you hit it, as you're okay. plowing through for so 26 more damage. Another. Uh, well, depending on your save. Well, 13 19. more damage. 13. Did you manage to knock the door down? Yep. I did. Door is bashed up pretty good, and you can walk through it. You can, you can, I can't, it's I can't, not like, I can't fit. I turn and look at Finn. Yeah. <laughs> I'll walk back up to the door now. <laughs> I'll walk to the door. I'll cast Detect Magic. Yeah. I, I'm standing in the way of the door. Okay. Like. I'm leaving you as a spider in case there's something scary in here. So, Magic. <laughs> you are getting... You are in an aura that is just filling everything around you. Oh. Am I still a spider then? Yes. Okay. Um, and you're also picking up. Um, you're picking up a bit of magic downstairs. What's is it? A foot of wood. A foot um, of wood, I think. So you can, yeah, you can go through the floor. I can look. Can I think it does. There is some foot magic downstairs, uh, and that's it. So there's there's, okay. there's there's a couple different spells in the air right now. I take a peek um, around in there. Look um, around. Is there any any monsters? Nope, nope. It's a small little little room inside the tree. Um, and it's I mean it's not decorated like a tree. It's decorated like a house. There's yeah. there's some there's some cap uh some some bookcases. It's got a chair in there. Um, I need, there's no, it's no cozy. lights in here. I don't have lights in here. Cases and a chair. Put some lights in. He was a minimalist kind of guy. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, we if I walk in and nothing immediately jumps out to kill me, so ignore the candelabras. Uh, They're not really there, but I'm just giving you some light. <coughs> so you can see, he's got a chair. He's got a little, uh, like a bag in the corner. He's got a bunch of books. He's got a chest in there. Just, just sort of like a little living room. Um, it does have a window, which you can see out of, which wasn't on the outside of the tree. 
Uh, there's a there's a uh, it's a spiral staircase going up, and there's a it's a ladder going down, which was supposed to be a hatch, but I forgot to put it in, so it's just open. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, since there's nothing in here to kill me, I'll make them not spiders anymore. Okay. And then I'll do an investigation. Okay. okay I come in and say, "Well, that was pretty handy, there, Finn." Yeah, um, baby. Also, magic. You're finding magic on the door. Uh, just as oh, soon well, as I yeah. pop out, still on the door. I also detect magic. Okay, same thing. You got two things in the air, um, and you have um, the door, and um, you're picking up down below a couple things downstairs. I'll go okay, down. Also, the door may still be active. Be careful. Oh wait, I oh. can't go down. I can't fit through the hole. What's your investigation? My oh. investigation was only a... Uh, let me look. 11. Nothing nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, he's got a lot of books on... Um, there's some things on... He's got one book in there on, on the Shadowfell. Um, he has... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, other things of note are like necromancy and conjuration and um, abominations, that kind of stuff. Like just, they're not really anything too detailed. They're sort of just like brief musings on the things from what you can tell up here in the bookcase. Well, so make sure you check for traps if you're looking at anything specific. But as we go through here, I'm going to be looking very hard for some incense. <laughs> <laughs> hey, will you move your big giant spider? I mean, I could. So you guys but... are gone. Those spiders are gone, right? Yeah, yeah spiders are gone. They're not spiders anymore. Where's the other one at? I threw it away. Ugh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he's in the trash. He's you know, been a bad there. boy. Here, I mean, I'll get rid of this ladder out of the way so you can... So you can get go out. down? Yeah. Uh, can you go no. down or go up from where you are? I was gonna... I'm trying to go down. Whoop, I there we go. I'm to try to look in the chest, but I'm going to try to check it for traps first. Okay, roll me um, investigation. Twenty-eight, not trapped. Okay, I'm gonna open the chest. Okay, um, it is um, inside there. You find a journal um, and just some writing paper, some pens. It's not a nothing exciting. It's sort of just like a it's like a desk. So is papers, it, when I thumb journal, through the journal, is anything ink, catch my eye? Quill. Not, not going to... Uh, it's, gonna ki it's, it's kind of... Um, it's very fi it's very thick, very full uh, of, of writings. And you kind of thumb through it. It's, it's sort of like a daily journal that this guy's been making. Hmm. Um, if okay. you, it's a lot. So if you want to look through it, you're gonna take, it's going to take some time. to. Is, is like his notes on creating stuff and things? Uh, it's gonna take some time if you want to get through that because it's it's pretty poorly written and sort of in the margins, you know, and all around and not chicken scratch. Um, okay. By the way, it, like it is not diary or it's like not in common, notes? but because you're reading it, you can read it. Okay. But does it look like more like a diary or more like research notes? More like a diary. Okay. I will not read all of it right now. I just wanted okay. to see what gist of it was. Okay. Downstairs, Finn. I will follow. You have a small little room, which has a uh, a desk with some papers on it and some. Uh, oh, there's a potion on it, as well as some. As well as another. There's another book sitting there. And a desk. Looks like this is more. This is more lab style. Looking down here, like a lab table, some instruments and uh, and some uh, lab things. Okay. Uh, what's the magic down here? Um, you're picking up some evocation. You're picking up some <coughs> abjuration on the floor right there. You're picking up some okay. evocation on the wall, right on the ceiling up here. <laughs> okay. And you're picking up... Um, uh... uh Conjuration? I'm gonna call it uh, right, necromancy. Necromancy is what you're picking up. Um, okay. Yep. 
So what you're saying is I don't want to go down that hallway. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Um, is there anything I'll in here? I'll could... downstairs. Okay. I'll go oh, upstairs. downtown. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't get down there, though. There's a frog in the way. Here. I'll go. Um, <laughs> I'm not in the way. Anyways, I'll go in. I'll go upstairs. Upstairs? Okay. <laughs> There's no items or anything down here. It's just like traps that are on the wall in that hallway. Uh, no, there's there's a uh, there's some like there's a book and there's some some more writing utensils and and uh, and some tools like almost like dentistry tools that are um, on the desk and there's also a, there's a um, a desk to the side. Um, uh, I'll search the drawer. Stuff to see what I get. Investigation. Investigation. Oh, not great. Eleven. Same. Okay. Um, you pick up a, um, you do find a book that is, yeah, you don't pick it up, but you look at it, and you notice that it, the binding is not leather. Um, maybe it is, but it's, it's, it's clearly not a, uh, cow or pig. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Oh, it's like a Necronomicon kind of thing? It's got some, it's got some fleshy binding. It's not. It's not magical, right? I'm not gonna. It's not gonna blow me up if I pick it up. <laughs> um. It. Yeah. I guess. I guess. Uh, I guess it does give off some magic. It gives us some necromancy. I'll pick it up. See what's in it. Okay. Nice human skin covering. Is that what it? Is? So. You gonna you gonna flip through it? Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I need you to roll me. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't roll. Uh -oh. Wait. Wait for it. Hang on, I gotta read. Am I gonna get something cool? Is it gonna like bind to me, and then I'm gonna be like un. So you pick up this book and you start kind of trying to figure out what it is. Yeah. Um. But it's just oh, what terrible rolls. It's just <laughs> it's just um thirteen to get three ones. Um, it's just, it's just too much, and your head is pounding, and you feel this searing pain in your head as you're trying to read this book, uh, and you take 13 psychic damage. Oh, I'll close it up, and then stick that in my bag. Okay. I think I have an idea what this book is, hopefully. Um, in the drawer, again, you found just sort of some, uh, more, more utensils, a couple more books. Um, these books that you see in here are on... Um, uh, um, the uh, uh, con constructs and abominations and, and necromancy, all sort of, but a little bit more uh, detailed than the ones you saw upstairs from a quick look. Okay, just like scan over those for now. And then once some other people get down here, I'll see if I can get some help disarming the traps. Okay, right here. I would like to, uh, I'd like to go upstairs for traps. I will come down there. Um, upstairs, David, you see a... David's the one upstairs, right? Yep. Okay. yep. I, I was heading downstairs. Okay. okay. Where's upstairs? Way up here. So, upstairs, uh, David, you have a... Um, you have a bed, you have a, a bookshelf. Um, and Any frog ladies? No frog, frog ladies. Lady. If you want to search it. All right. Uh, <laughs> sure, I'll just search around. Give me that investigation check. Oh. Okay, I'll do my best. I'm not too sure how good I am on investigation now. Where'd it go? Hey, 17. Natural 17. Okay. You're searching around. And... Ah, plus four. You're messing plus around... 21. Oh, 21. You're messing around with, with the bed, kind of doing doing a quick search, and you feel uh, like a little, um, a little trap shelf kind of hinge underneath the bed. All right. I'm kind of interested what trap it is. Can I like set it not, off? Not a sorry, not a, like a like a trap door, not a trap trap. Like a little uh, a little thing that plops down. Uh, a little I guess so. hidden compartment. That's the word. All right, so uh, I'll take a look. I guess. Okay. You peek under there. You open it up, and there is a bag in there, like a pouch. A bag of gold. Oh, sweet magic items. All right, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll open it. I'll like, take a peek though. I'm not gonna like. Okay, you go back. It's open. empty. It's empty. Look inside. Empty. 
I'll dump it out. How are you gonna dump it out? Just turn I'll it I'll just flip it upside down. Okay. Nothing happens. Nothing. Mm -mm. Oh man, it's not one of those magic baggies. All right. Okay. You got yourself a bag. I'll keep it. It's okay. baggy. Okay. And uh, I'll go downstairs with everybody else. Okay. All right. So everyone's downstairs in this little tiny room. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. You've got a hallway that leads like like a cave like hallway that leads off. Can Can you move me down there? My guy like will not go down that hole. Um. Do I? Do I still got detect magic up. Is anything changing? <laughs> Um, you're noticing some magic upstairs now. As something was uncovered. And it's coming downstairs now? Yep. It's getting closer. I, I, sure. I can get you that. Did you either. find something upstairs? Somebody under... Oh, maybe someone's in the way. Yeah, I uh, uh, found a bag. Here, I can't... I can't... <laughs> Stop the tail spider. <laughs> I just teleported down there. I just brought my character down. Must be a, must be a character limit there. for the chat. How'd you do that, David? Yeah, I'm just gonna delete uh, the floor. Press shift and click to your character. Bah. To. I just, I just went down to the little white thing and That's went down. That's what you did. There we go. Finley. See? I tried to type you a big response, but it won't let me send it. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it, Joe. You're stuck up there. No, you can. Oh, I got it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we're all down here. What you guys are doing? I asked Bert, which, you found a bag, you said? Yeah, it's a bag. It's empty. Nothing special. Oh, um, um, oh, sorry, it's I... Magic, though? Go ahead. Hmm. Is it, is it, do I see it still being magic? Yes, the bag is magical. Did you try turning it inside out? No, but I tried dumping it out. I flipped it upside down. I think maybe you should try turning it inside out. Uh, alright, yeah, I'll do that then. Okay, you flip the bag inside out, and one necklace. That's mine. I found it first. That's mine. Falls <laughs> onto the ground. Anything on the ground is mine. <laughs> Finders keepers is mine. Is it magic as well? It is magical. What's it do? Uh, before I touch it. I'll... <laughs> it's mine. What does it do? It. What is it? What does it do? <laughs> He's asking oh, the kiss. <laughs> um, <laughs> what does it do? <laughs> what does this magic do? Um, I'm trying to see what the uh, class, what the school is. Why, 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 is, why don't I have identified? Is there a pearl in here? <laughs> uh, your investigation didn't find anything in this room. I need to look through this room for incense. Roll me an in investigation. Conjuration is the, uh, is what you're getting on the necklace. Uh, 14. Um, yeah, you don't find anything, uh, other than the, the, you, the, um, the utensils and the tools and the papers, the book, okay. books. Anything <coughs> on the papers written? Um, seems like he's doing some, uh, you can read it. Uh, but it seems like it is... Sorry, Eric, I, I gave it to you, and I shouldn't have. Uh, this is in a language that none of you understand, except for Rook. Um, but he... It's just sort of like some diagrams and descriptions of... Uh, oh, it seems like his creatures that are outside. Mm. But now they're dead. Uh, okay, can I check for traps that, like, going to the hallway? You can. Um, is investigation again? Um. Yeah, I'll let you. I'll let you do it again, since you're looking I just there pick, now. Instead of I the pick room. Rook up by the by the waist and throw him down the hall. Uh, fifteen. Yeah, you're strong enough to do that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Him. Okay, I'll you get. Can, you can see the glowing square where these these stairs here are glowing. Mm -hmm. Um, with but I can't uh, find a mechanism. You cannot find it. Find the mechanism okay. or the. Uh, I don't know if it's trapped. I can't see is a it, mechanism, but is it a dirt glowing. floor in there? Yeah. I'll use a mold earth to move some of that dirt around, see if it triggers anything. Um, okay. Which uh, which dirt are you going to grab? Dirt. The dirt on the ground. Oh, is it dirt all the way around? Dirt. There's it's like stone stairs and then dirt in the pathway in front of it. Yeah. 
are the walls dirt and the ceiling dirt? Yeah. Uh, where did I see oh. that magic okay, coming man. from? <laughs> magic's, the magic's coming from the stairs and the, um, like the, um, like the lentil, ceiling. So it is like right at the doorway. So right uh, where the dirt starts. Yeah, there's a wood beam there, but yeah. <clears throat> I'll uh, I'll move that dirt. I'll like pull some down. From the roof. Yeah. And where are you gonna put it? Just straight down below it. Onto, onto the, stairs, the glowing stairs. Yeah. Okay. I need everyone. Okay. I'll describe. It. <laughs> so you begin to cast it. No. Um, where's Leaf and, and Bit, by the way? We uh, haven't said. <laughs> they'll be I upstairs. Mean, it would have been like stay here and keep an eye outside and tell us if there's gonna... any undead coming. Is what I would have said to him. <laughs> Bit and Liz gets coming inside. He's not gonna come down here yet though. Um, but okay, you begin good. to grab the block of dirt and you slam it down on the ground where the uh, the stairs are. You can slowly yeah. do it if you want. Um, and as soon as it hits the ground, you see this little orange bead from the beam shoot down and oh, slam to the yeah. ground right where you're, that dirt hit. You need everyone to make reflex save as this room fills with fire. Oh, Ooh. great. Oh, okay, good. It's a fire no problem for me. explodes. And explodes down the hallway. A reflex? What, what is hey, that? That's not bad. Oh. What's the dex save? Nine. I have a feeling I'm unconscious. Uh, it's, a, it's a 16. <laughs> oh, not 20. Uh, 19 I did for terrible. Me. I jump out. I got an eight. <laughs> you need a shield for you. That's what happened. <laughs> I take half damage anyways, baby. Okay. Um, yeah, it gets everybody in here. Um, so if you failed it, you're going to take... Oh, Except for me, I take half. That's how that did works you, for did me. Did you fail sure. it? Yeah. I didn't like no, critical if, if failure. You, only if you succeed. If you succeed, you take none. If you fail, you still if fail. You, if he fails, he takes half. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, if you fail, you take half. That's how that works. With a fireball. Ah, oh, so many ones! Yay. 19 damage if you <laughs> failed. <laughs> I have one hit. Wow. <laughs> and nine if it succeeded as a fireball erupts oh, around I here. Oh, it right. shoots up it through the uh, through the hole in the, in the ceiling, and you hear, uh, uh, "You guys okay down there?" <laughs> I go, "Yeah, we're all right." <laughs> <laughs> the papers wait, wait, on the if... desk, the books, they all just got singed and have burned. Those that you. How much damage did we take? Nineteen if you failed. Nine if you uh, failed. That twenty. So there. I take I take even half of that too because I'm fire resistant. Okay, so you take. There you go. Four, right? Yeah. You got, you got the lucky of the halves. Oh. <laughs> you, detect, you detect magic still glowing in that square. Good one, magic man. It's still <laughs> there. Oh. I see an opportunity and I seize it quickly. Another fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I see an opportunity to accidentally off Rook. Mm hmm. Maybe well, someone else should check for trap. See if you can disable it, or maybe. <laughs> I'm a rogue. Rogues are known for disabling traps, so I'll do that. Uh, I'm gonna climb up the ladder if he's gonna try to disable that trap. <laughs> I'll stay down there with him, but I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have key awareness up. Okay. I am going to climb up the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna climb up too. All right. Let me know if you get it. Uh, what do I want? Uh, investigation. Investigation. You're trying to find the mechanism to turn it off. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because I couldn't find it. What if we just jump over the stairs? Well, let me know All how right, that goes. 20. I'll be up here. <laughs> 14. Nope. You not find anything. Does it go off again? No. You know where not. not. You know where it's at, so you know where not to touch. All right. Uh, can I just keep doing it until I succeed? Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> so, one sec. So hitting the stairs is what triggered it, I think? As soon as the dart hit the stairs, it went off. What if I... Uh, so it didn't trigger it while it was in the air above the stairs, only once it hit the stairs. Yes. How far down are those stairs? Just a little, like... It's not even not even One five step. feet all the way down. It's just three little steps. Mm. Maybe try jumping over it, but... Yeah. Let me know how it goes before I come down there. I think we can just <laughs> jump Everybody over get out, out. I'll jump first. Everybody get away. 
right. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna have. Here. I'm gonna have my key awareness up. Okay. And I'll make a run and jump. Okay. Move your character. Uh. Since you don't have to like roll the long jump. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Jump over it. I can't. I can't even see into the hole. Oh, there we go. No problem. Um, when you get back here, you get back to right about here. So in this room, you have first off, you have a cage with an unconscious frog in it. We saw. Wait, we saw more stuff down the hall, right? More magic. Yes. We saw just yeah, the magic. There's, here. there's more magic down the hall. Be careful. Um, yeah, I'll jump. There's a forge back there. There is uh, b lots of boxes of things. You see a lot of. Um, these boxes are just sort of overflowing with, with sea creatures and, and parts of sea creatures. Uh, there's a pedestal with an orb on it to your left. Oh. Um, and okay. you've got a couple of, of, uh, uh, tables over here with some, some pieces of fish things and all of, um, uh, fish bits and, and crustaceans and all that sort of scattered about it. So are you okay? Did you, did it work? Yeah, I'm fine down here. All right. I climb down. Yep, climb I, down. I get jump. ready to make the jump. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and I jump. Yep. Witch yeah. out. And you're fine. Oh. Alright, I'll hey, where's the where's the other magic down here? That orb is a scrying orb, I'm assuming, right? So that orb is giving off uh magic. And you're getting some magic from I think that's it. Yeah, just just from that orb. What kind of what school is it? Oh, I knew you were gonna ask me that. Uh, I think it's adulation. Um, it's giving off. Whoops. Two different two different schools there. Okay. Abjuration, and. Whoops. Uh, why don't they ever? Uh, hmm. I'm gonna say abjuration and. Um, Enchantment. I think it's what it is. Does it look like if it's enchantment? Oh. It's not scrying. We get a we got a raid. Yep. A raid from uh, it's Gachi. Hey, it's Gachi. And it's Gachi Ites. Um, so yeah, if it's enchantment, it's not it's not a scrying orb. Uh, divination. Sorry, divination oh. and so it's a scrying orb. <laughs> divination Most likely. and abjuration. And abjuration. I think it's after something. So there's a scrying orb. Used to talk to protecting something. Used to talk to old Alzira. Or to watch the town. She's got one too, right? She's got one just like that thing. She does have we one. It. it um it looks similar. It's a it's a ball. Um But it's not real familiar. You can investigate it if you want. Did we notice anything similar at uh that one dude's place you uh, not. is Gachi. It's Tailspire. That's what it's called. Okay. Well, Holly I will on the ball. Carefully look through here for if there's any anything I have to open. I will check for traps first, but I'm looking for incense. Give me that investigation check. It's crowded and it's crowded in here. Yeah, it is. Thirteen. I will um, also do an investigation. Do you not find any traps? Okay. Go for it. Oy, oy, oy. Do we all just need to investigate? Seven. <laughs> I rolled a seven. Okay. Yeah, box of sea creatures. Um, you find there's yeah. a bunch of uh, bits. If you want to go digging through it, let me know. Right now, you're just checking the boxes and sort of the outside contents. My only concern is yeah. this frog lady, so I'm going to go save her. Okay, frog lady unconscious will... in the cage. Um, she is missing an arm. Uh, and you help the frog lady. And... That's right, I'll go back. Rook, in your investigation, there was a frog arm on one of the tables. Uh, there's a frog arm on the <laughs> table. I said, sorry, I'll go back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that frog salamander. Okay. They're like salamanders. Uh, I will look through the bits of whatever. I'm desperately looking for incense. So. Okay. Um, go ahead and give me a. Uh, just give me another investigation for the for the bits inside. Okay. I kind of I find it hard to imagine that clean guy Rook is scrambling through a box full of bits. <laughs> oh yeah, there Zip is. is my friend. Twenty-seven. Okay, so you narrowly avoid being pricked multiple times, 
as you're digging through these very strange sea creatures, fish and, and crustaceans and all the other bits you guys have come across before. Um, you don't come across... Um, you come across a little bit that would work as incense, you think. Um, you get about... <laughs> you get about half of what you need, which is what you need ten gold, right? You get five gold worth. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. You get you get about half the amount that you that you need from it. Okay. Um, and it's in a box of fish parts. <laughs> that was a seven, seventeen. Investigate, right? Well, twenty-seven total. Oh, twenty-seven total. Yeah. Okay. Yes, you find your incense. <laughs> you find. Oh, wow, <laughs> um, you also notice while you're digging around that you find some little little white balls. Hey. And you find a decent amount of them. What? what? Oh. Hey. Pearls, baby! <laughs> I'll say, Finn, didn't you need a pearl? I need pearls! I've been looking for a pearl for two years! <laughs> How many of them do I have? How many of them are there? Uh, there's a good there's a good dozen of them in there. All different sizes. <coughs> okay, I'll say, pick one. What do you think you need? And I'll Give put the, the rest biggest, in. the biggest, most house. valuable looking There you one go. Take because... the biggest one. And it, I'll put the, rest um, in the spell, you can use pearls, plural. You don't have to be just one. Oh really? Yeah, just, it's okay. just a hundred gold worth of pearls. I think. I would like to try to keep it. It is now. I'm. I got my incense, so now I need to look for. What do you look for? I think a ruby. Check. You need a ruby. I think. You have to trade all your pearls for a ruby. Maybe if if we have enough pearls. I can identify magic items finally. Woo! <laughs> Go identify that orb over there. Um, <laughs> Also, there's another box that you're... I'll give this to you in your perusings. Uh, there's another box that is a small little crate, uh, a small little chest, like a jewelry box, that's set off to the side. Uh, and in it has several little pieces of those shards you guys keep coming across, those little crystal shards. Oh, what are those? There's about a dozen of them in there. Uh, so they're magical, but... They're not no, giving they're off not any magic. magic right now. Okay, well, we'll just gather those up for now. I'm gonna get the frog lady out of the cage. Yeah. Uh, I think Bert's yeah, already on it. Bert, give me a, uh, a lock pick. There's a lock on there. See, I need a, a focus worth a thousand gold, like a crystal ball or something. Like, maybe that, that Whoa. Might work. I don't know. Alright, let me How'd just re-roll that, because that was not a roll. One? You can't just re-roll that, because that, that wasn't new, a roll. <laughs> so, <laughs> Bert's over there fiddling with it. He can't get the lock undone. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Nice try, Bert. What do you mean? No, it didn't even roll. So you need that now to bring back FIP? You need a thousand gold worth No, 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 no. This is for a new spell. Is, I got scrying. Oh, okay. I was like, jeez. <laughs> How'd you <laughs> have that last time? It might help us find Garrick. So I took scrying. All right. Okay, Shiro, if you want to try to get that uh, that frog lady out. You can yeah, I'll try to just bash the, on the lock and try yeah. to get it to break. Yeah, give, me a, give me a strength. While they're uh, bashing that lock, I'll identify this. Uh, uh, give me an, just give me an attack. Give me an attack. An attack? Yeah. Uh, twelve. Okay. Yeah, you you whack at it, but it doesn't seem to have any effect. I rolled a two. That's terrible. <laughs> What'd you say, Eric? I'm gonna identify that ball right there. Um, this thing right here. Yeah. Uh, it takes an hour. Correct? Ten minutes. Oh, ten minutes. Okay. So you sit down. Ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. One minute. Uh, One minute. One. Okay. Unless <laughs> you ritual cast it, um, uh, I don't think you can. Ritual. Can you ritual cast as a sorcerer? I don't know. I don't think I, can. I don't know if I can or not. Anyways, just just go with the minute. Um, your um, bit you see climbing down the 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 ladder from behind you. Bit, stay there. Don't come any closer. <laughs> He's standing there, very anxious, very anxious to, uh, and you can see he he wants to just charge down here. Um, if you step on the stairs, you're going to blow us all up. And Leaf is coming I think down. we found his wife, but don't come any closer. He's, he's, he's holding back, but he is very anxious. because he. Leaf, you stay there too. This isn't a joke. Yeah, do not come down the stairs. <laughs> Leaf doesn't say anything, but he, he just nods. I will die if you come <laughs> down the stairs. Please don't come I go, down the stairs. I go, oh wait. I really need you down here. Really. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Izagashi, yes, yes, that's correct. You too. Uh, <clears throat> so um, your minute goes by, and you get an identify on the orb, the orb of true sight that is sitting there. Ooh. Um, but you're getting um, another spell that has been placed on it as well, 
which is um, uh, a uh, what's the word? Uh, alarm has also been put on it. Hmm. Mm, so, so we take using it. it. Okay. Well, now I know, and now I know my pearls worth at least a hundred gold. Woo! I'm keeping Rusty's pearls. I'm trying to trade them in for his crystal ball. All right. Well. Uh, oh, is there a crystal ball down here? Maybe. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, that's basically what that thing is. Hmm. Yeah, but it's got an alarm on it. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to move that thing or do anything with it. <laughs> the lock on that on that cage. Can I? Uh... Oh wait, I know so what I'll do. The... Anybody your got identify, a Your identify will tell you this. Okay. Alarm is on the, the orb. Yeah. And that's this whole area is filled with alarm and true sight. Emanating from this orb. Oh, okay. Oh, so they gotcha. know we're so here. it's all the yeah. Well he wouldn't know we were here if he wasn't dead. Unless it's key to someone else, which probably not, but maybe. Anyways, does anyone have a water skin? I don't think so. I don't know. I do. Do you have a water skin? Yes, Where I do. You get a water let, skin. Let me see that <laughs> I water I don't skin. have a water skin because it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Dang it. Is there any right, water right. down here at all? Um. Yeah, I mean, there's puddles and things. There's I got to like pee. A, Hang on. Uh, <laughs> I'll make just, um, there's yeah, there's, there's going to be some water down here. I mean, there's there's plenty of puddles of, of sea water okay. that's here also. If that's you fine. just need something wet. I'll go up to the lock. I'm going to get to use this spell. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to pour water into the lock and then freeze it with shape water to break it. Okay. Um, roll me damage on your... I don't know what the damage on oh, that would just, be, it's honestly. Just, it's just freeze water? It just mm -hmm. freezes water. And the expansion of the water should, in theory, break a lock. Unless it all leaks out before it freezes. Um, I'm letting you make that call. It'll, it <laughs> takes you a little while. It takes you a few, a few tries. Yeah, yeah. But eventually, I'm getting used to it. Yeah, eventually, yeah. it'll it'll snap. In the it'll like of split it. Time. It eventually snaps. Wow. The lock. You may be able to finagle the thing and to get it off. Yeah, She's unconscious yeah, yeah. in there still. Door swings open. Is she a little crispy from the? Ooh, ooh, wow. No, the firewall didn't quite go down there. I was, I was uh, when I was making this. I was like. Do I kill her when I step on that thing? Is that too heartless <laughs> to kill Bit's wife? I really wanted to do that. <laughs> but no, she's Bit's fine. wife gets roasted on the way down here. <laughs> Rough. Amazing. All right, I'll check her rules to actually make sure. We even got to the point when we go back alive. to the city and everyone's dead from undead. <laughs> what, David? Holding the stick I'll check her pulse to make sure she's actually alive. She is alive. All right, good. Um, like I'll, I'll pick or... her up. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna head out with her, and I'll jump back over. Okay. As soon as Beat Bit sees her, he's he really wants to run towards you, but stop. He holds stop. back. Stop. <laughs> Please don't kill me. We're I'm coming. coming. <laughs> we'll get her out of here, and then you can hold her all you want. So I'll I'll make my way and jump and be okay. as careful as possible. Okay. Uh, I'll. I'll ask Finn, should, we, should I take the orb? Uh, Yeah, you can take the orb if you want, buddy. We're climbing up the stairs. We're getting out. <laughs> We're going outside. What? I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Rook. We'll all leave, and then you pick up that orb. <laughs> yeah, that's a good plan. Okay. I got alarm. <laughs> it's got alarm and true sight emanating from it, and I don't know if it has some trap on the stand or anything. So how about you let us leave? And then if you pull it and it blows you up, only you go down for it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can get back down here and wake me up <laughs> before I die? <laughs> That's a resounding maybe. Well, all right. uh, let's go. All right, Everyone leaves until the room. They are up. Okay. Yeah, we. Yeah, I leave. And then I will inspect it to see if it looks to be trapped. Roll me that with investigation. More than just alarm. Can't I pick up that die? Because it's like in the ground. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I uh, oh, no. Oh, Full total clear. Okay, here I go. <laughs> I look at it. Get my sandbag. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana Jones, you to toss it on there and pick it up. Looks a little heavier. I dump a little sand out. <laughs> uh, 
Is there anything in this room that looks about the same weight? I will do that. <laughs> um, I mean, that box that had the um, that had the shards in it, that could be. Is it? Can I pick it up with one hand? Anyone take that, or is it still there? I took the shards out of it. Okay, so the box is still there. Um, it looks. Is that thing like a solid glass ball? You know how heavy that thing would be. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try it anyway. I'll pick up All something right. that I can pick up with one hand, and I'll try to Indiana Jones it and. <laughs> Let's take it. Okay. Uh, roll me an intelligence check. Oh my gosh. It won't let me grab my dice. Uh, 12. Okay. Intelligence check. Plus 217. Okay. So you uh, you slowly and quickly roll it off. You, have the ball. you did a pretty good job ma managing the weight. You wait for a moment. <laughs> I smile. And it All goes... good. <laughs> You now have an award right. in your hands. I got it. What? All right. So I go back up, jump over the step. Put I tuck the thing away first. Okay. Uh, and then go back up. Uh, um. Uh, with de recast detect magic, if it's fallen off, is there anything left in this tower? Um. Yeah, because I forgot we to do something. Up. There is a. Oh. There is a. Um. As you're walking out, you look down. He's like, oh. There's a spell book that was supposed to be on the character's body, but it's here now. Oh. <laughs> you find a book that contains some spells in it. Also where where is it? Uh, it's it's in this main room as you're walking out. You see it, it okay. tucked into the shelves. Was there anything upstairs? Leave. Was there any was there any more upstairs, Bert? Did you already check out? Wait, I oh, yeah, okay. there was the, book, just oh, the, the baggie there. was all. Okay. There was no there was also, no further I'm... up. It was just one floor up. Yeah, also, I have the necklace. I just want to say that. I have the necklace. Let me write that down. Did Bart get oh, it? Yeah. Finn can identify it for you. I can. Might not yeah, want to burn through all your spells identifying stuff when yeah, we have I to know. go back yeah, and fight. Yeah, we're going to have to go back and fight. So I won't. I could ritual cast, but I'm not going to spend the next. We've only got. We're on limited time, too. We'll do all that later. Okay. I will jump over the thing. Yeah, yeah. Come back see, up. Look What's up and the see spell if, book? It's just. If you have. I'll have uh, to look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a wizard spell book. Um, you can thumb through there, and you can see there's. A, I mean, it takes you a minute to look through spells it. You can't cast. A quick glance. Yeah. Um, you recognize Fireball. Well, you don't recognize it. But you know. <laughs> oh, this one. I've seen this one. Fireball. <laughs> um, it says Fireball. Yeah. But it appears to be a wizard spellbook. You wonder why wasn't this on his body? <laughs> <laughs> it must be awfully hard to cast spells without a spellbook. <laughs> Maybe that's why he just stood there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, out from the tower you come, um, and where are you guys going to go? Uh, we're headed back to town in a semi-rushed fashion, right? Okay. All right, let's get back to town, make sure it's not overrun with undead. We should who, be all right. Who is, uh, who's, yeah. who's on lookout? Fib? <laughs> <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> what would oh, be man. <laughs> Roll it, Jack. Uh... Perception. What is it? Perception. Yep. Perception is okay. I'll do it. Uh, nineteen. Okay. Um, it's a. There's a. There's a. Some. A couple more of those. Of those beasts that. Um, of his, like the crab and the fish people, uh, you see off in the distance. The smaller ones. Oh uh, yeah, the little size little guys. Okay. Um, and you also see a a small group of undead. Um, still off in the distance to the south, sort of meandering about. Okay. Other than that, I relay it's, that. it's a quiet walk. Hey, can no uh, daddy? We got another raid. It's raid time. Mm. Raid time? Raid time. Raiding. What do you call Raiding a follower party. of, of Kanoa daddy? Wow. Kanoa, Kanoa, Kanoa family? Canabits. Canabits. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Um, so you make your way uh, back into town, and all and? Is quiet at the moment. Too quiet. <laughs> A little too <laughs> quiet. All right, when we get back to town, I will spend an hour uh, casting okay. Find Familiar. Okay. No else. When we get Everyone back else? to town, I'm going to go uh, find a nice, cozy spot to lay down until we have to fight. Yeah, I'm going to, when I do Find Familiar, I'm going to try to find a private space so that people... Any locals don't freak out when they see an imp for the instant that he is an imp. Okay. You got Bart's house. Um, 
That's about as cozy as you're going to get. Okay, I'll do it there. It's all right. I'll go to Kermit's house. Okay. Kermit's a nice guy. Best man I've go ever to Kermit's met. house. Kermit is not there. You uh, well, I'm just going to break in. At the docks? <laughs> I'll say FBI <laughs> open up. <laughs> Anybody else? Well, um... Investigation. <laughs> um... Okay, so... Basically, what I'm reading is, if it has a ritual tag, any caster can cast it as a ritual. Oh, okay. Really? Bird's yeah. house. I can't find the exact... But everyone on Reddit and everything's like, if the... If it has the ritual tag in the name, like I can't cast a sorcerer only spell as a ritual, as in like wizards can cast any spell as a ritual. I thought the ritual caster was one of the things that some classes had. Like that, that's that's yeah. a, a perk. I'm having a hard time finding it. Um. Anyway, so oh, yeah. an hour, hour um, goes by. I didn't find that. And in springs a little imp, and he he salutes um, Rook. And then pops into a raven form. <laughs> he knows what he wants. He goes knows invisible. He's... Yep, goes invisible. Good, good, good to have you back, Fip. Number three. That didn't last long. Managed to find some incense in a bag of in a box full of fish gut. Oh, Eric, if you want a if you want a ritual cast, you have to have the ritual cast your feet. Okay. Yeah. See, ritual casting is a thing wizards get, but I don't see it anywhere for sorcerers. Um, yeah, hey, uh, Finn, uh, or someone, I don't care who, just, uh, I didn't find my stupid Nicholas. I'm not gonna do it right now, bud. Take Why some not? spell slots. Take up. You worried about your spell slots? Yes, because <laughs> I'm you guys the, are the only... worst. You guys are the worst party members ever. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna come. Oh, boy, it, do I need to kill a frog right here? <laughs> <laughs> Bit and wife, uh, trudge off into in the, the center of town. They thank you. Is he carrying He her? thanks you, yeah, profusely. Uh, and then carries her into town. All right. That's it. How's her arm wound look? At that. Uh, I'll looks, say, hey, how was that? It's pretty uh, rough. Flip. It's pretty. Do you um, use your that I taught you. Her heart's beating. Hmm. All right, good. I don't remember anyone's been... <laughs> medicine check. I've been casting <laughs> ritual spells. No one wanted to medicine check her. We'll let our ranger cast a heal on her. Well, she, she was breathing, right? She was. Got to conserve those spell slots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all is quiet in Saltport. No undead in Saltport yet. No undead. They're not here by what? What day are we on? We're still on day one. You are on the uh, the beginnings of day two. Okay. Okay. Well, if we've got. I'm ready to take a short rest. <laughs> Everyone else has yeah. got one hit yeah. point and no spell slots. Yeah. On the way back to the house, I trip Rook, and when he falls and takes one hit point from hitting his head <laughs> on the dock. Oh. I've got one party member threatening to kill everyone else in the party. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not threatening to your face. I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> I could just trip you right now and be done with this. And then I'd make my death saves. <laughs> And I punch you. Yeah, on on the way it? back, there's a rock on the dock, and he kicks it with his big toe. He falls over. You just the... hear, you just hear Finn finally kick him off into the water <laughs> and stand on his back. I'm, nothing down here. Okay, what you guys gonna do? Uh, I'm down for a short rest. If yeah. Else is. yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll take as long as the long rest. <laughs> we'll find out. I'll take as long as the rest I can get. Okay. The <laughs> the hours tick by. Night falls. All is quiet. And who's on watch? Fip up there on the roof. Fip is back. <laughs> He's on the roof. Pay Roll me that perception for Fip. Uh. Okay. Nine. Okay. All's quiet. Um, he, he he still picks up a little bit of activity in the west. Just the occasional groan. Um, the occasional sway of a tree. So clearly there's something still out there. Um, but that's about it. Okay. Uh, okay. 
that it? All right. Yep. Morning comes. Uh, this is... You're now on day three. Okay, so this is the day he's going to leave after. If we don't come back by today, he's leaving. Three days, whatever that means to you. <laughs> or whatever that means to the captain. That captain. Whatever it uh, means to the captain. I'm the captain now. <laughs> You're the captain. Um. Okay, well, if we got our short rest in, we can, we're can. going to go. You get a, as you guys are discussing this, you get a knock on the door. Okay. Open the door. And. It's a bit. You were right last time. Slur is the one that. So this is Slur's twin brother, by the way. <laughs> oh. Con- Constable Slur. We'll just. We'll <laughs> then have Slur. Slur comes to the door and he says. So Slur was killed. Okay. He was supposed to have been Got killed, it. but no, he wasn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had something else. Um, so he comes to the door and he, and he knocks and he, and he sees you all and he, and he says, well, um, well, uh, I, um, well, thank you for uh, getting, um, what's your name back? Talk, getting talk back. But um, we well, have a problem. What are you going to do what's about that? it? Well, the, the dark one was, was protecting this town. As much as we feared him, he kept the dead away. I, I look over. Yet? Well, no, but he's he's dead. He, he's you. You said you would save us. You would protect us. There's nothing. We're gonna try and get another city to help you guys. We Wait, leave this, Rook. So is this slur or is this slur's predecessor? No, this is slur. This is slur. Okay. He didn't actually die. Well, as I told you last time, slur, I'm pretty sure he just brought the undead here and then say, say, said that he would save you. He was in control of all of them. Was he? We found a bunch of them dug up in the. They were in the ground. Says, oh my. Okay. Um. I mean, I guess. You could all come with us. <laughs> what? <laughs> to <laughs> South Shore. <laughs> or we could take you all back to the island. Yeah, At least you'll be yeah. together. Uh, we'll have to talk about it, but... I have a better plan. How about we just have South Shore protect them? So they could just be no trade partners. South Shore already yeah, sure. said they don't want to get involved. Well, they don't yeah. have to anymore. They uh, we just killed their the evil necromancer. Yeah, but they would still be getting involved. This is still they still consider it all zero's ter- terrain. Well, this isn't hers anymore, technically. Oh, it could but be. South Shore won't. See I it that dare way. you to ask her that. <laughs> he says, oh, "I don't know if we're, if we're safe here, especially with the the, the younglings." I guess we can go back to Tadpoint, but I mean, how is that any safer? We're still going to be stuck there. There's a Kraken. All right, here's our plan. We take off all our rings, stick them on sticks, and put them all the way around the town. <laughs> That's actually not bad. <laughs> <laughs> no one there? Yeah. It's huh. a Ward Undead ring, right? What's the radius on it? No. Do you I can, see like an identify aura it? of magic when I detect magic? Do I see an aura of how big it is? Oh yeah, I guess I could identify it. Uh, no, just the ring glows. Okay. Identify my necklace, please. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna identify a stupid ring, then at least identify. The ring helps necklace. our situation currently, so I will spend. I don't think it's gonna help it. us anymore without zero. You don't even know I have us. this spell. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I see doing some frog. weird magic. You guys also have, if you forgot from last week, there's a ring, a necklace, and a cloak that came off of a necromancer. Oh, oh yeah, I, I collected that stuff. Yeah. I didn't have any of that stuff. So I oh, know. I'll take the cloak. Uh... <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll That's identify mine. That's mine. it. We'll figure out what it is, and then we'll, and then we'll decide how to divvy everything. No. For everyone. We're not hiding magic items away. We're just not spending every one of my spell slots on it. <laughs> I'll spend right, one so more spell slot on this. Okay. So on our Slur is still standing there in the middle of this conversation. 
quite confused by the spell slots and how he identifies. <laughs> oh, Hold yeah. on. I know we've got a thing about spell slots. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we really got to talk about this. And he says, you, you promised you would stay and help this time. We're going to leave Rook behind to keep you safe. I'll stay behind and help. <laughs> <laughs> when we leave. No, I'm going to identify... Uh, listen, Slur, we'll come get you in a bit. we got to figure some stuff out. Honestly, if most of the undead are trapped underground, we can just go find them and kill them. If they're underground, we don't have to worry about it anyways. Just pop open the lid. Fireball! <laughs> the closest. <laughs> <Under request. laughs> sure. I think we could do a scan out and see what's going on with them. Yeah, Send we can... out. Listen, Send Fifth out can, to go do, yeah. like, a radius around the yeah, whole place. I'll do that while the undead so We'll go and send Fifth to scout for okay. the number Reception of for Fifth. So I shoo Slur away so that we can figure this out. Okay. He trudges off a little bit. Thirteen. Bitter. A little okay. um, defeated. <laughs> what was the Perception? Fifteen? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Um, so there's nothing, like, real close to the town. Um, but as he sort of starts circling out a little bit further, there is there's not a not an army out there, but there's there's a few dozen. You figure the whole oh, we could, we could wide take a perimeter. Few yeah, a swamp. couple at a time, a couple at a time. We could take we, them. We, listen, if uh, one person he just also notices more. that That's giant spiders. Um, there's sort of a uh, there's a peninsula that goes past where you guys just were that where the tree was. Um. And there is a there's a decent collection, about a dozen of them, uh, about ten uh, of of those fish, uh, fish monsters, monsters, fish monster people, that are. Okay. Um, they don't seem to be doing anything. They're just sort of. Yeah. Lingering they're, about. That. They all seem very aimless, but they're all some out there. They're not meandering like the like the undead are. They're just sort of sitting there. Um. Not, not moving anywhere, just sitting. Okay, standing. I'll convey that. The one, the fish people ones, appear to be extra aimless, fairly stationary. Okay, so while he's doing that, I'll identify the ring. Uh, the ring was one off the necromancer. Uh, no, no, the ones, the one, the ones we're wearing. Oh, yeah, it is a um. Um, a ring of undead warding. Basically, what it does, it's a personal thing. It's it just gives you a stealth, a big stealth bonus to undead. Oh, okay. So it doesn't make you invisible, but it makes it to stealth where bonus. they don't see you unless you cause a ruckus <laughs> or attack. Or <laughs> of the course, undead. look, look. At... <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, we just uh... look how stealthy I am. <laughs> Will you relay that information to us, Eric? Yeah, I'll tell you guys oh, that. Man, that's funny. <laughs> Do you think if we did set them up around the town, that it would help conceal the town? Or it it would a personal do effect. Yeah, it's a personal effect. It works okay. on the person who's wearing it. If you stuck it on a tree outside, they would make them, they'd make the tree invisible to them. Not invisible, but they wouldn't yeah. notice it. It'd be the stealthiest tree they've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did we get a short rest in? Yeah, you did. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Uh, so, so you got um, necromancer ring, necromancer cloak, necromancer amulet. How many first levels? You spells have spells? the fleshy book. Um, the bag. Oh yeah, I should identify that fleshy book. And the, the uh, necklace that David is carrying. And the journal, which wasn't mag magical, but that was, uh, and then the shards that you pulled out. Okay. Davis, Davis still has that elephant. I've got two. Mm -hmm. I've got two first level spell slots left. You're gonna if hold on to him, or are you gonna do the? If we want to identify some of this other stuff. I say do the cloak. I want to know what the cloak does. No, oh, and a book. I forget spell. And book. a book. Spell and book. a book. Is it the spell book or the skin book? You have a spell book. Skin book and a journal. I, I got the spell book, right? Or and a necklace. Yeah. You have spell book? No, and you journal. have a spell book. Yeah, I, got it. I think and you have a journal, right? Yeah, Rook has a journal. I have a necklace. necklace. Can't forget about my necklace. Yeah. We'll get your necklace, bud. We'll get what did you do with the bag, David? I, I have it on me. Okay. We already know what the um, bag does, I'm pretty sure. 
I think we can just do it before we get to identifying here. I think we can do a sweep of the town and try to wipe out all these things. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, um, because sure. I'm could, good to go. Is it possible that anyone could like? Wait, the ones that I saw are just typical slow undead. Out uh, in the swamp. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Well, they're they're kind of a mixture of skeletons, zombies, um, and. At least half of them were like um, mud covered, fungus growing on them. The ones you guys fought uh, out by Chug's place. That's the one where ranged, our range has to take care of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If we can get one person to gather them all up into one place, bam, yeah, one fireball possible? done. Is it possible that anyone could be fast enough and have enough endurance to gather them all into a small spot and we could just pop them all down with one or two spells. Sounds like Finn just said that. <laughs> that's, yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm echoing what he said. Does it, does that, do we Rook's think just repeating my good idea. Um, well, you see, uh, I am pretty fast. I just like to say. Mert's yeah. good on, on that swampy water. He'd be the one to do that. Yeah, those oh, things, were, those things were slow moving in the water. They had difficult terrain, just like you guys did. And they were Except for me. Slow. And yeah. I also have Dash. I'm the fastest frog yeah. in my life. I, I was able to get away from him pretty easily. Yeah, so if anyone wants to just go out, gather them all up, I'll just fireball them all down in one Yeah, hit. let's let's do that. Okay. Okay. You gotta um, take off your ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, explain how you're gonna do this, David. Alright, I'll just take off my ring and uh just make a ruckus. Around I'll tell him. I'll tell him where Fip saw all of them, so he can get the most. All right. Yeah. Practice. I'll do that, and then and I'll have. I'll be watching through Fip as he does this, from above. Okay. Um. The majority of them are going to be on the on the east side of the swamp, but there's still a few to the south, a couple to the west. I guess we can do them in separate. We can do west first, and then the south, if you guys want to. Sure. Um. Mm. Do we want Slur What's to be about... with us? Yeah, we'll take Slur. I'll protect him. He can come with. What about the boat? What about the boat? Worst How case scenario, we, we just have to walk, walk back. Well, also, I have we have an idea to keep the boat here, but we still have a full day, so well, if we can complete this, into... we told him not to come until we sent the bird out to tell him when to come. So. I, as far as leave. as far as I see it, we have three full days. All right. So let's get slur. Let's gather these things up and let's do a couple mass killings. Okay. Right, these bird. things are like I, I will do this sort of like a skill challengey kind of a thing. So I need a dex from David. And I need a intelligence. Who wants to be the brains of this operation? I can. Tr well, I can try with yes. like with FIP between perception and whatever you want to do. I, I need, I need a perception also. Okay. I got okay. eleven for perception, dexterity. intelligence, dex, and um, that's it. That'll do it. Okay, I'll do eleven I'll do for percep dex. My perception through FIP, so I can actually see better. Okay. Oof. Okay, okay, I'll do intelligence. So basically, I mean, this is not, I'm not challenging. You guys are level 9 and these are zombies. So it's not a challenging thing. Uh, it's just going to be basically determining how long this is going to take unless you roll fumble. Okay. I 16 intelligence. If you fumble, then, uh, then Slur's dead. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Slur's dead. For real yes, this time. <laughs> okay, here's the perception. Maybe some. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, I well, see well. it. So you guys are well. working, you're working pretty well. Um, Bert's over there, he's making a ruckus, luring them in, and you're getting them kind of batched up together, and then Fireball goes in, is that what you're doing, Fireball, and blasting them, and just mowing these things down. Uh, it's kind of noisy, though, with this, um, the, the eruption of the, of the fires, and... It's hard to see all the time. <laughs> you're in a swamp, so it's pretty deep, you're like knee-deep in the swamp, um, and as this is going on, can you I make a dexterity save? Corner save? of your eye, you see Slur just go under the water as something grabs him and yanks him. Underneath. I did say that I was going to protect him. Can I have try to save him or anything? 
I will give you a roll of a deck save to try to save him. All right. Cool. Do good. I'm going to give you disadvantage. Sake, please. Disadvantage? Yeah, because of the right. fumble. And I already said that if there's one, he's dead. <laughs> oh. One of them was a nat 20. The other one is a 6 plus 4, so 10. Okay. So you go and you, you try to you grab for him. You manage to get his hand, but he's he's all muddy with blood splattering everywhere. And his hand slowly slips away as, as Slur goes into water. And you can see his, his eyes just sort of roll back in his head as he's going underneath the water. Sheesh. Oh, no. man. And you go stabbing around and you find the zombie eventually and stab it. But Slur is no Already more. dead. I'll take wow. it. And you can see his I'll leg. Slur's leg is just... Uh, well, I'll, if you want to do a medicine check and see what happens, you can. Yeah, heal him. Keep him alive. Oh, he's, uh... <laughs> he's where, where's his David body? Cruz, right? No. <laughs> he gone. He gone, gone? Dang, oh, Isaac, better... another death on your hands. I know! <laughs> all these ones! <laughs> better, better burn the corpse. The slur is finally dead. Just had to fix the mistake. Just had to fix the mistake. That was the universe writing a wrong. <laughs> I'll get my frog yeah. memorial. A proper frog memorial for him. Poor Slur. No, Slur's the crappy kind of frog that can't breathe underwater. <laughs> <laughs> Slur died uh, instantly. Okay. Leg wound shock. Leg wound. This thing. This is one of those uh, those fungal zombies that got him. So he's. Uh, he got. He got. I'm gonna. The, uh, the rot. Is he gonna be turning? I'm gonna cut his leg off where the stuff is, so it's not gonna like okay. start. So it's gonna be a problem. frog leg hopping around. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, and he hasn't, I'll, he hasn't I'll, turned yet. I want to just burn him. I can just burn yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just burn him. I'll we'll just, just leave him. him here. Okay. Listen, we did the town a flavor, a favor. Slur was a kind flavor. of uh, we did him a flavor. Slur was kind of not that good of a leader. He was such a bad leader, we thought he was dead last week. <laughs> he was an amazing present. leader. Listen, he was the only one that stuck up for us, all right? Yeah, all Not really. Slur was, seen... was kind of a jerk to you guys first day. Yeah. Yep. Um, so um, it takes a few hours, um, especially after that, and you have to deal with that. So it's it's well into the night um, <clears throat> as you're cleaning up the last we're tired. Batch. But you, okay. It's it's sun's down and it you you feel like you've got the majority. Okay. okay. We'll go back into town and inform whoever the constable's successor <laughs> is. <laughs> Slur was the uh, oh yeah constable. Um, yeah. Um, we'll go back to yeah, Bit. Yeah, was the a mayor, constable right? and um, Bit's mayor. Yeah. We'll go to Bit. Okay. We'll say, I guess you can just come listen, to me. Bit. I have all the answers. So Bit is. Not in the town hall, but no. if you want to search around for him, you can try to find him. Should I? Do I know where he lives? I should know. Um. Yeah, you know where he lives. All right. Yeah, I'll knock on his house. Okay. So. See if he's there. Knock on the door. Bit opens the door, yep. and you can see it's just a little Ooh. one, a little two room hut. Just. Um, Ooh, two room. He's uh, high is it like mine or is it like bigger? It's yours, but much fancier. Much bigger. All right. Um, I'll uh, go over to Finn. On and the couch, the on the there's a bed couch type situation, and couch sounds too modern. On the bench, whatever <laughs> it's in the house, <laughs> on you the can bench. see uh, um, his wife is still unconscious there on the bed, and he uh, medicine check. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all there? Because I will I will medicine yeah, check if you're all there. And he says, is anyone, oh, is there any, is anyone good uh, with I've been with her uh, all day, and 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 she's still not. Hey, a couple times Jack, her eyes open, but you, I can't get her. Can you heal her? Yeah, I'll heal her. Uh, my first level heal. Uh, Jack, or, heal or medicine check? Which one are we doing? I'm doing a, a heal. Okay. For 12. Okay. Um, as you as you heal her, her eyes open up and she got... Takes a, takes a breath. Um, there is a very faint glow on her chest. And then it fades out. Uh-oh. A faint glow on Did her chest. Did it show up with Detect Magic earlier? 
It did not. I cast Detect Magic. There is a faint glow coming from her chest. It's still there if I if I detect magic? It is now. What school? Uh, conjuration, I do believe. Um, she cursed? Not a curse. Well, you don't know. Do I, can I tell what it, do I have any idea what it might be? Like, like um, a kind of check maybe? I think if you come across this, uh, you can, yeah, I mean, you can, you can, I need a medicine check if you, or, or investigation, something to look at it first. Okay. What do you, what do you want? Arcana, medicine, in the, investigation? What do you want? Give me a investigation first. 22. Okay. On her chest is one of those small little shards just jammed into her chest. It's just under the oh. skin, you can, but you can feel it in there and you can, you can see you can see it it's not glowing right now but you can see the, the outline of it so can we just like perform, perform a little surgery yank it out of there i'll inform the part of this one of those shards is embedded in her skin here with some finesse probably could Who's oh look at dexterous? that i got some finesse <laughs> he, he's strong. literally got finesse yeah. weapons <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you gonna use so, your, you gonna uh, use your scimitar? Stand real still. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna ask a bit if he has something. Hey, bit, you got a kitchen knife? Uh, yeah, you, you got he's got a couple of kitchen knives. Fork. Want me to want me to sanitize that kitchen knife for you with some heat? I mean, she's got at least twelve hit points. Just don't make her bleed out. Should be fine. <laughs> I think this is I think this one's for you, Bert. You probably got the most steady hands of all of us. All right, sure. I'll I'm gonna need a dex, dex check, dexterity, and a medicine. Right. So if someone wants to assist on the medicine. Uh, oh, yeah, Jack. Probably Jack. Yeah. Wait, you said medicine check? Yep. Oof. I'll and show I'll just... nine. I'll show where it is. Nine. Ew. <laughs> oh, that was almost an ad. Oh no. Cut her up real good. David. It's just in the surface, right? You can just pinch it out. Roll me D4. Be a 1, be a 1, be a 1, 1, 1, 1. There's a lot of, of blood. Not. There's a lot of blood, and you're not quite getting there. <clears throat> you can try again I, if you want. She is starting uh... to... She's, she's not screaming. She's being a trooper. But you can see there's certainly some tears coming out of her uh, frog guys. From top. We can always throw another oh, yeah. heal on her if we need to. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is he going to try... Are, one I'm gonna ca I'm gonna cast guidance on Bert. Okay. So he All can right, roll yeah. a D four with his. With my big, big money. Oh, that was close. Uh, <laughs> there, there we go. go. Nineteen. So I was on a one. You almost killed two people tonight. <laughs> okay. Give me the medicine check again. Oh, to the guide, medicine. Okay. To guide his hand. Uh. Oof. There Nineteen. We oh, there we go. Yep. So take some time and and you eventually boop, pop it out. All right, now healer. <laughs> is it still glowing with the detect magic? Well, she's fine. No, as soon as it pops out, goes out, goes dark. Okay, so I've got a bunch of those in my bag already. I'll just put it with the Maybe rest should, of them. Yeah, I think we should probably take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's getting leave it as now. a souvenir. It's dark. Okay. Yeah. You gotta put it in a little jar. <laughs> Here you go, this yeah, came, I, out <laughs> came out of you. One of those little jars like you got those tiny dice in. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, All right um, so we're gonna sleep then and then go to the boat in the morning. Bit thanks you profusely again, yep. hugs every one of you and shakes your hand. Uh, Bert, this is the nicest you've ever seen Bit. Well, I still gotta tell Bit. <laughs> this hey, guy's normally Bit. a grump and kind of a jerk. So, two things, Bit. We took care of the zombies. There might be a few stragglers, but... I figure you guys can take care of any that are left. We took out the vast majority. Stab them with poaches, you know. But, uh, Slur died a horrible death. <laughs> <laughs> uh, his, like, happiness and his joy just sink out of him. But hey, look, your wife's awake. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any. No one. I mean, Slur was the only. What are we, I guess we'll do what we can. We took Slur with us because he really wanted us, us to prove that we were taking care of the problem. And yeah. he stood a little too far away from us and got taken out. 
and it was definitely Rook's fault. <laughs> <laughs> a single tear on the top of cheek. As well. Thank you for bringing uh, talk back. Um, All right. We'll How do you spell that? Talk. T A K? No, not tack. T O K. T O K? Talk. That's the weirdest T A H K. Spell however you want. Put a few apostrophes in there. Always Why makes are you it look so apostrophe-like with his names? Because that's that's a D and D name. <laughs> yeah. Not a D and D name. There's not an apostrophe in it. Whatever. All you right. didn't even know it, but my name is spelled F I N apostrophe N. Ninin. Okay. That's why. That's why you spell it with us all the time because we keep calling him Finn, but it's really Finninin. Finninin. What would you like to do? Are we going to sleep? Uh, yeah, I guess we're going to rest as long as we can, and then we'll hit the boat. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so I would like to wait till everyone falls asleep. And then I'm... Uh, Fip's going to keep an eye out just in case. Uh, but I... Outside. I am going to keep an eye on Leaf. And once everyone is asleep, and it once also Leaf is asleep and he starts kicking, or doing whatever it is that he does, I'm mm -hmm. going to cast Dream. Okay. And I'm going dream. to enter his Dream... And for this, I am just going to, uh, I'm going to try to not be visible to him. I'm not going to try to interfere with the dream. I'm just going to observe it right now. Can he see you in the dream? If he looks at me. Okay. I mean, I have the ability to, like, shape environments and stuff, but, and alter my appearance, I think. So, I mean, I would make myself as inconspicuous as possible. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> um, is there a role for this or anything? Or there's a roll for, for Leaf? Only if I choose to do damage. Okay. So Leaf begins tossing and turning. You cast your spell. Let me double check. Hold on. Yeah, there's no save. Okay. Um, so you enter the dream. And... How much of this can you you just see what he sees, or you you were just like a a, a watcher of what's happening? Uh, it says it's basically, basically I am in the dream and I can control it, but I'm going to choose not to. Okay. Hmm. For right now. Okay. Um, you should make it Jurassic Park styles where he uh, where the T Rex <laughs> comes in and destroys whatever was attacking. Yeah. So choose the creature you know to be. Uh, you choose a known creature as the target of the spell. That must be on the same plane of existence. And then if the target is asleep, messenger appears in the target stream and can converse with the target as long as it remains asleep uh, through the duration of the spell. The messenger can also shape the environment of the dream, creating landscapes, objects, and other images. The messenger can emerge from the trance at any time, ending the effect of the spell early. The target recalls the dream perfectly upon waking. If the target... Uh, is awake, then I know, and I can wait to try to see if he goes to sleep. Um, and I can also make the messenger appear, uh, myself, appear monstrous and terrifying to the target, and if I do, the messenger, I can deliver a message of no more than ten words, and then you have to make a wisdom saving throw, and if you fail, you take 3d6 of psychic damage when you wake so up. So Rook goes into his dream to turn into a monster and scare him some more. And so I'm trying just to observe, okay. like use whatever ability I have to shape the environment to make myself not actually appear there. So you pop into his dream, and first thing you hear is you hear him struggling, and then the, the, and the image comes in, and you are in a pretty small room. Um, it's a it's it's black black floors, black walls, um, carved out. There's a couple doors. Oh, there's a doorway and there's a door. And there's a box. Looks like a coffin box. And Leaf is standing over this box and he's he's yanking on it. And that's, he's grunting. Trying to get this thing off. Um, also in the room you notice there is um, there's, a, there's a, a table, like a rack with all kinds of different implements that look like torture implements. Um, there's also a bed with like a torture, you know, tie him up 
Um, and there's a there's sort of a a a stock in this small room. Room's empty, other than Leaf in here messing with this coffin. Okay. And he's struggling with this thing, trying to get this thing off. Um, and he stops for a minute, and he closes his eyes, and you see he starts he starts casting. Looks like prestidigitation. And he starts trying to work this thing out. And you can see this thing is nailed down. And you can see a couple, one of the nails starts to kind of shake a little bit. And then he, he, he does this for a while. And he's struggling, trying to get this thing to come out. And then he, um, he gives up on that. And he looks over and sees you. Standing watching him. And he says, Say hello. Rook! You're here. You, you can help. Help me, please. He needs help. And he goes back and tries to start getting in this coffin again. You can, you can do this. You're strong. I go over to him and I say, just try and try not to force it. Just try and do it with your mind, and I'll, I'll pick the lid up with just with my mind, like telekinesis style. So he sits back and, and closes his eyes, and the lid begins to raise up, and you throw it off. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it is a coffin, and up sits a red-skinned, some horns, um, man. He's got a tail, he's got some wings. And he looks over at you, and he looks at at Leaf. And he says, well done, Leaf. I knew you could do it. And then the dream goes away. Does, does he wake up? Mm-hmm. I'm going to act like I'm asleep. Okay. And then you hear your name shouted out. Rook! Rook! Uh, uh, Rook! Uh, uh, what? He runs what? over and shakes you. I, I I did it. You I did what? I, I I saved him. You saved who? A Roby. A Roby safe. I I knew I could, and you helped me. I helped you. He's been stuck for for so long, and I keep trying, and it's he's it was so dark, and 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 he was he was such a dark, and and they were torturing him. But I saved him. And now he's free. And now he can come back. Uh oh. <laughs> I we, hope that was just a dream. <laughs> we can get him back. He's told me a little bit about Roby, right? Mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, you guys I told you all about him. And, and also, Leaf told me what he thought of him, right? Yeah. Okay. Where'd he go? We just uh, saved a very evil man. I don't say that. Uh, call, Are you call sure you're asleep? Roby? Are you sure Roby needs to be saved? Well, yeah, he's my friend, of course. Well, I, I can't leave him there. Hmm. I think we need to have a talk. Oh, man. About, about what? Um, I will... Just gently try to shake Shiro. Yeah, I'll wake Shiro, up. Are you awake? Are you awake, Shiro? Yeah. What's up? We need to uh, have a talk with Leaf about Arobi. What, what, what's going the, on? I think now is the time to have that talk. If you think it's the right time, okay. So I sit Leaf down with me and Shiro and just try to have that entire talk and try to convince him that Arobi is not who he thinks he is. Okay, roll me persuasion or diplomacy, whatever it is. And I Do I get per- with uh Yeah, you can have Shiro's, Shiro's advantage, yep. What are you telling him? The truth. Everything uh, he's seventeen because of him. His dad's dead and all that. Yep. Yeah. As gently as possible, but the truth. Okay. 
17 on persuasion. Okay. Um, he he doesn't want to believe it. Um, and he he doesn't. You you get the impression that he kind of he starts to take it in, but he doesn't show any like signs. He's like, no, it's it's not that's not possible. He's he was my only friend. He he taught me how to do this, and it's it it'd be like saying that you were doing this, but you get an inkling that you may have have planted that thought into him. Okay. Just think on it, Leaf. Try to have better dreams. Should you go back to sleep tonight? He says, we can, we can, we can, we can watch him. What do you mean? Um, I'll have to show you in, in South Shore at home. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. When we get back, I'll 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 remind you about that. And, and he was he was in a bad place. And they locked him they locked him up. He's been locked in that that cage, that case box for a long time. Hmm. Just think about what we said, Leaf. I know it's it's hard to hear, but we are your friends and we're trying to help you. Okay. Good night, Leaf. Good night. Thank you, Shiro. <clears throat> Roll back over. <laughs> yeah, you basically did nothing. <laughs> I just I sat up and went. Uh huh. Parents, okay. boy. <laughs> boy. Listen, boy. So Leaf goes back to back to bed. He's tossing a turn all night though. I will wait a little while, and if uh, if he starts, if he if I think he's gone to sleep and is having another dream, I'll cast dream one more time. Okay. Um, he, um, as you're watching him, it doesn't seem like he ever goes back to sleep. Okay. It's been a couple well, hours, he's still tossing and I turning. Will, I will and finally just pass out from waiting. <laughs> eyes are closed. Yeah. And he's not. It's like um, eyes. Not asleep. Okay. Okay. Got another okay. short rest in though. All right. Morning comes. Yeah. What would I like to do? Uh, we'll Let's go catch a boat. Yep, tell the yeah, town that good luck in your future ventures. We're never coming back. <laughs> I'm going to mark Slur off as dead, which I forgot to do last time. <laughs> Slur is dead. Yeah, super dead. He's dead. Double dead. Double dead. And, oh, and then he, last co leaf. he comes back. You had any other dreams? Did you, did you have any other dreams last night? He says, "No, oh, I um, I, I tried to, I tried, but I, I could never, I could never see him." I'll walk with him, put my hand on him, put my hand on his shoulder, and have Fit sit on his other shoulder okay. as we walk to the boat. Let's go catch a boat. We'll go catch the boat. We'll send Fit out to tell the captain, and we'll, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah. Fit will go take off and say, "Hey, come back to the." Okay. Yep. Bird goes up, and or, or goes out and tells him Bert, the boat's still there, and he Yay. he acknowledges. And you guys make okay. the walk, uh, morning. And you make your way past the cliffs where the boat is of the, uh, the cricket people, grasshopper people. Uh, you walk kind of near Chug's cabin. Oh yeah, I forgot about those guys. I wonder. No I sign of no <laughs> sign of Chug. And you get to your uh, your rowboat. You sail out, row out there. Yeah. to the yeah. boats, and they raise you up, and you're back oh, on right. the wow. something, the S something, the serpent, the sea singing, the serpent. sea serpent, the sea sprite, sea, sea sprite, the sea, sea sprite, sprite. <laughs> back on the sea sprite. Serpent I knew, sounded I knew good. I knew I'd get it at that. some point, <laughs> and uh, that's where we'll end. Uh, Captain raises anchor and says, "Right before we end, I'm going to say I'll identify a book." <laughs> Which book would you like to identify? Uh, skin book. Skin and I'll book. say, I identify the cloak too. Yeah. Skin book is 
Um, it is a manual of flesh golems. Ooh. It is much too powerful for you, and you know to not look in the book because it is not. Not, not yet. You're not capable get there, of handling though. that. Okay. And what other thing? The cloak. It is a cloak of the manta ray. While wearing this cloak with the hood up, you can breathe underwater and you can have a swimming speed of 60 feet. Whoa. Pulling the oh, hood wow. up or down requires an action. Ooh. How's it look? Like <laughs> that. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, it looks like it's actually got like a tail and everything. Yeah, yeah. It has kind of a manta ray. Kind it's of like thing. a manta yeah. ray. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. I'll put that on. Okay. Uh, what about the necklace? Uh, I'm out of spell slots for now. Oh. No. <laughs> really, only two? I had two left, so I'm gonna sleep on the boat and I'll get your necklace when we get back. Right. Or I'll take the ritual caster feet at some point. I've been ca I cast all those portal fist rituals. <laughs> all right, and um, Captain sets off to South Shore, and we're gonna end there. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So thanks for watching, everybody. All the raids. That was exciting. All the raids. Oh man, so so exciting. <laughs> yeah. And we'll be back again next no, Friday. Twitch. I think it's uh, with with Halloween D and D. Ooh. Uh, not D and D. Halloween stuff. Halloween stuff. Yeah, we'll do a tin candle thing. Halloween one shot. Oh, we are. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That game is awesome. It is. We're not gonna have a real candle this time. Sad. Yeah. No. Well, virtual virtual candles. candles. All right. Thanks yeah. for watching. Bye.